There's so many rules in 40K, hundreds of events, and constant updates. Skip the learning curve of Warhammer and join the pros. Art of War is led by multiple world champions with decades of success. We teach clinics, stream games, and inspire you to succeed at your favorite hobby. Join our global community of gamers just like you. Hey everybody, welcome back to another super exciting Art of War stream. I am playing one of the oldest armies in 40k, the Thousand Sons, the ancient warriors of dust versus Siegs, yet another psychic army you got over here. The Grey Knights, we actually haven't played this matchup. This was the matchup we played when both codexes came out because yeah. they came out at the same time. And I don't believe we played it since then. Maybe only one other time. Yeah. Both but codexes have changed a lot, too. Green Knights at that time, uh, Dread Knight heavy, different meta and all that. Thousand Suns, now they found demons to add to their <laughs> collection. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny. Grey Knight stock has been going down a bit. The Thousand Suns have risen with the addition of Flamers and Agents of Chaos. So, but you've you know, been killing it with the Grey Knights lately, especially... I've been killing you with the Grey Knights. Oh, you know. <laughs> you've been killing people with the Grey Knights over here, so... Yeah, I've been doing pretty decent yeah. with uh, my Paladin build, so... I, I just enjoy the style of Grey Knights, love the infantry-heavy style, and, um, you know, I, I love Paladins as a whole. I think they're the, the main kind of core unit to be able to hold down primary with this army, and they've done pretty well recently. Yeah, I'm super excited. We got a really awesome game today. We're playing Abandoned Sanctuaries. But before we get too deep into that game, we should take a minute and thank all of our wonderful sponsors who help us put on these beautiful shows for you, like Table War. Mm -hmm. Table War is this company. They sell mats, like the one we're playing on today. The cool thing about these mats is that they're nick-proof. You can have them for years in my presence where I live, and you know, they're still fine. Uh, Even where he doesn't live, but you might find him. You might find him. <laughs> uh, you know, I've spilled on these things. You just wipe it right off, and it's good as new. You can eat food on them, seriously. They're lightweight. They're portable. They, they go into a cool little baggie. Zip up. It's every, very easy, user-friendly. Someone who's bad at hands can do it. And, 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 they come in all kinds of cool different colors. Mm -hmm. This is the Wastelands that we're playing on. It's very muddy and dirty, just like these Grey Knights. But um, we, you can get the grassy plains, the deserts, the ocean board. We actually have the Caribbean Sea on the way. Got the order confirmation today. We're going to do a Hawaiian theme. Oh, yes. I love <laughs> I have so many Hawaiian shirt seeks. <laughs> Um, and next up, we have Warpfire Minis. In fact, I was there just yesterday uh, talking to the wonderful gentlemen who uh, run that company. And uh, they're based out of Ocala, Florida. They have an amazing trade-in program. So if you have old miniatures, new in-box stuff you're never going to use, stuff on sprues that you just don't care about, go ahead, take pictures of it, give them a list, and they'll give you a quote for what it's worth in uh, store credit. Ship it over to them. You'll get the store credit and then can get all sorts of new in-box stuff. They ship the, they stock the entire line of Games Workshop and they ship next day. So if you need stuff in a rush, they are amazing. And guess what? I just saw their stock. It's just like thousands and thousands of every single thing that you could possibly want. <laughs> Even that fine cast stuff or any of the old uh, direct order stuff, they get it pretty quick. Yeah. And what's the point of having really cool models shipped to your doorstep and having a mat to play on if you don't have terrain to go with it? Gone are the days of playing with cutout foam and books and things of that nature. We have wonderful terrain. This is WTC terrain made by the producers of that format. You can find a link below. We also have Big, ba Big Bear 3D, our terrain sponsor, who provides us with real, all kinds of cool 3D printed terrain. So if you're abroad, the WTC format might be more accessible to you, something you play on a lot. You can find out about that. If you're here in the States, Big Bear, well, he ships abroad too, but you know, he's, he's you're located in Florida just like us. Mm -hmm. Yep, and there's terrain. Basically, there's champions tables uh, kind of created by each of us for the different major terrain formats. So if you're practicing for LVO, there's a player placed style. If you're practicing for Games Workshop, there's a Games Workshop style. So just check it out. There's ones for every single tournament, major tournament format. So see, because we've got terrain models table ready to play, right? Are we missing anything? No, we need objective markers and possibly a battle border. If you have the old mats, those uh, six by four mats, you're gonna want a battle border. You can get it customized from 3D6 Wargaming as well as the objective mats they create. So you can get Art of War ones, the exact ones we use, or your own custom ones. Like and my face? I have used Nick's face many a time. <laughs> okay, surely this would be everything you need to play a 40K game, right? Models, terrain, ter the board, the objectives. No, 
You need widgets. You need gadgets. You need gadgets. You need to play <laughs> cool 40K. You, you don't want to use tape measures. These things are so 1970s. You want to use these things, which tell you exactly what nine inches is, what six inches, three inches for those piling consolidates, those heroics that John mm -hmm. loves. Two inch coherency. These things alleviate arguments. They make discussions super easy. I can't tell you how many times, and these are my buddies, we play all the time, we even work together. And when we're measuring, it gets real technical. Is it five, is it six? Let me tell you exactly how far it is in my explosion range. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, things explode. <laughs> yeah. So you can get all, all kinds of really cool widgets and gadgets, the game aids that help you, they got wound counters, all that, in the link below. Muson Minis is the company. You can get a, a discount with our promo code as well. All that information is down below, along with the information about the War Room. Mm -hmm. So the War Room is the main place in which we uh, teach various classes on every single faction in the game of 40k. If you want to take your game to the next level and skip the steep learning curve of 40k, which is kind of enormous, there's so many rules, guess what? If you want just the best opinion, you know, the opinions from some of the best players in the world, go ahead, uh, click the link below, uh, the artofwar40k.com slash learn more. There's testimonials from members on there, there's sample content, as well as a full description, and a sweet 50% off discount code for your first month. Join our community. Absolutely. Speaking of learning more seeks, let's learn these people about my you list. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? Boom. I'm ready. Thousand Sons. So we've got a battalion. We're playing Cult of Duplicity. That's the one that lets me teleport. Uh, Armon with Discazinch, Weaver Fates, Presage, and Glamour of Zinch. He's a reroll on everything kind of guy. He's going to cast my buff powers I want going off every turn. Exalted Sorcerer on a disc. He's actually 145 points. He's got Zinch's Firestorm, Temporal Surge, the Athenian Scrolls to make the Zinch's Firestorm go up on 3d6, pick the highest. And he's a Rahadi, which lets him cast three powers in a given turn. Then we've got an Infernal Master. He's got Temporal Manipulation. And of course, the Infernal Packs for the free reroll and plus one strength on your guns. He's also got the Umbralific Crystal. In the elite section, we've got a unit of 10 Scarab Occult Terminators, two Soul Reaper Cans, two Hellfire Racks, Empiric Guidance, and actually, instead of Protege, we've gone for the Automated Orita, or whatever it's called, that lets you do the action and shoot for your Terminators. They're going to cost 445 points as well. The correct list is in the description below. And then we've got to go with Fashion Zangor Shaman to give us another Cabal Point and help out with our Psychic Actions. One, two, three, four, five units of Rubric Marines, all featuring a myriad of powers and a Soul Reaper cannon. Uh, all that extra AP3 is really something this army is lacking, and I find it adds some good long-range punch. And all the Psychics with support with the banners and just extra casters really help to get your, your game plan going. And then, of course, Mr. Siegs, it wouldn't be 40k unless you just added your requisite 15 flamers. And I play against them every single week. You really? I don't want to do this to you. <laughs> if you watch the War Room games, I am the man who they're like, flamers are on the list, go. <laughs> and I just play against it really them every is single true. week. You know, I wasn't even supposed to be playing the flamers against you today, but exactly. you know, the, the Zinch gods found a way. It's just every single chaos <laughs> list has 15 flamers, and boy, are they strong. Uh, well, you've gotten pretty good at playing around them, so I, I, see I do. I, I've had you can show some tricks. tricks. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about your list that you're playing. Yep. So this is the Grey Knight list. I've been kind of refining my Paladin build over the past couple months. This is kind of what I've settled on as a as a really good strong archetype for Grey Knights right now. This is Prescient Brotherhood, and uh, it is single battalion because Grey Knights need those command points. Three HQs. We've got Kaldor Drago. We've got a Librarian who has Psychic Epitome. He's our main mortal wound output guy, but I've added a second Librarian in here. And what does he come with? Well, he's got that sigil so that when he is declared as a target um, you know, from shooting, from ranged attacks, he can go ahead and just teleport. So instead of using it on a Grandmaster Dread Knight, which it was typically used on, I actually quite like it on the Librarian. There's a lot of shooting heavy armies in the game right now, and being able to teleport him around is super important. Um, and then he has the same powers because Psychic Epitome, you give it to any of your Psychers uh, within six at the start of the Psychic phase. So my Epitome guy can give it to the other Librarian, and then even if he dies, I still have Psychic Epitome for later. Three units of strikes, and then in the Elite slots, I've got the Ten Paladins with four side Cannons, as well as the Brotherhood Apothecary, who has the Divination Warlord trait, as well as the Obsec Aura, which are both very important for Grey Knights. And then finally, 10, 10, and 5 Interceptors. These are kind of the standard, powerful, um, you know, fast-moving troops for Grey Knights. And this is a very infantry-heavy build. No Dread Knights here. I just find that their shooting lacks against a lot of the top armor of Contempt armies. But if you don't play against those armies, Dread Knights are still actually quite solid. This is the same list you piloted against me last week, is it not? Yep. I played um, up against 
It was your uh, chaos. It was one of my chaos lists. It was one of your, uh, your of weird janky uh, <laughs> chaos well, lists. I think it was my demons plus knights I've been working on. Yep, you were running chaos knights with demons mm -hmm. and, and Abaddon. And you had Abaddon in yeah. there. So it was a wild uh, <laughs> chaos soup list, but something you can do uh, on the frontline format. Well, yeah, it was a one or two point game, right? It was a very close Super game. Super close game. So definitely check that out. We have tons of content on demons, Grey Knights, all in the world. Every game with Grey Knights is close. Every <laughs> game with you is close. So I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. So, Makes it more fun. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, everybody, we are Art of War. We produce a lot of competitive 40K based content. This is a channel centered around teaching people how to get better at 40K. Do us a favor. If you like what you're seeing, like the video, leave a comment telling us how how handsome we are, especially Mr. Siegs. He needs it. And then, of course... I just appreciate it. I appreciate you. He appreciates you. I appreciate you, too. Of course, you can also subscribe to our channel. It really helps the YouTube algorithm gods help us help you. You know, we love producing this content for you. Our ability to produce it completely depends on your support for us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, subscribe, comment. Really tell your friends. Tell your friends. Join our community. It's awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about this mission, Mission 21, Abandoned Sanctuaries. You don't really see it very often, but we figured it would actually make for a pretty interesting, engaging game. And uh, it is a wild mission with no forward deploy or pre-game moves. Luckily, I don't have any, um, and I don't believe you have any either. I could have spent command points for it, but yeah. no. But yeah, the five objectives, three down, no man's land in the center, Dawn of War style deployment. So you're, you don't really have much depth to your deployment zone. Very hard to screen the entire longevity of it. You typically end up with units in the open. Um, very hard to score primaries in this one. Uh, all the objectives yeah. are in the open, <laughs> more or less, and in no man's land, easy charge ranges, easy damage range. Uh, the bonus point is going to be scoring the middle objective at the end of your turn. Two points for controlling that at the end, and also an additional five points at the end of the game. So the person going second is going to have an enormous advantage, especially in these kinds of missions. You have a low primary score, since both players are kind of struggling to score points in the midfield. The person going second gets an extra five at the end, plus easy walk on for a 12 at the end of it as well. Yep. We teach all this stuff in our strategy sessions in the war. How to and break you down just taught this one. We just did a band sanctuaries. I'm really excited to try out some of my tactics on it. Some tactics you've never seen before in Secret tactics. Secret tactics. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, talking about my deployment here um, on the north side, we've got my paladin unit, which is ready to move into this uh, terrain feature over here and then threaten the center objective or this one. We've got interceptors ready to move up behind that ruin as well. Most of the characters are supporting this area because they probably want to go relatively central. And then I have a couple more units, a strike squad and interceptor squad, ready to move onto that objective if needed. In reserve, I have the Grey Knight Librarian and two units of strike marines just to force Nick to screen because if he doesn't screen, that Libby can do a lot of damage to him. Definitely. So on my side, I, I had to screen, so I have five rubrics tucked in right on the bottom floor of this. I made sure to have one rubric just kind of hang out over here in line of sight. So if Richard goes to deep strike over here, he's going to end up closest to this rubric squad, which is already on the front lines. Same idea on this side of the rubric wall. And then uh, over here, I used another terrain feature for a similar purpose. I'm not too concerned about Richard's shooting. Uh, usually, Grey Knights <laughs> do have a lot of firepower, but it's all AP garbage against Thousand Suns, so I'm just going to be taking two ups forever. It's the mortal wound output in close combat I really have to be afraid of, so I don't want him gating of Infinity Nine just away and charging something good. Behind that, I have my 10 man Terminator brick, my Shaman, and all three of my other characters. This is the central core, but of course, I have so much teleportation. I've got my change cat, my fate caster here. He's a little exposed, but he's using the lookout sir rule to pretty much not be shot. Uh, Siegs could drop in over here and try to mortal wound it away, but he's got a lot of wounds. He'll be in deny range of my whole army, and anything put he puts there is dead. And then over here, I've put uh, two rings, five rubrics, and five flamers. Five rubrics, five flamers. So even if Siegs does go for some sort of YOLO charge, kills this unit, he's not going to engage my flamers with. He's going to stop short by my rubric marines on both sides <laughs> um, and over here there's no space by measuring nine inches so a lot of basic screening going on in this mission <laughs> nick remembers the last game we played where i was like give me your flamers i tagged them Look, all game <laughs> i have learned that you have superpowers in life one of yours is that you just have a hundred percent hit ratio on charges when playing gray knights <laughs> specifically when they're nine inches <laughs> Yeah, when they're not nine inches, if they're eight inches, it's not. It's just not. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, you have this power you cast, which just puts you exactly nine inches away from my units, which means the power turns on. You just start start hitting charges. <laughs> so I have to be very mindful of that. You do, because I will tag those flamers uh, and reduce uh, Nick's firepower. So what secondaries did you take for today? So for secondaries today, normally Grey Knights like taking banners and uh, purifying ritual and kind of just sit back, rack up points, force your opponent to come to them, and take like one kill secondary. 
In this one, I couldn't really do that because it's abandoned sanctuaries and there's going to be a lot of fighting over the middle. So instead, I went for, instead of banners, I went for retrieve uh, Nachman data, which is a little bit better, or Nephilim data, excuse me. Um, and that is because um, I want Nick to kind of spread out and actually try and screen it. If you want to screen um, R&D in this uh, exact mission, you actually have to get a lot of units out in the open, and I would rather that because then I can do mortals to them. Took no prisoners because if Nick doesn't come towards the center with any of his units, I'm going to just max my primary and get a decent enough secondary score that should win me the game. So he's going to have to come to me at some point, and pretty much his whole army gives up no prisoners besides the characters. And then finally, I went for um, Purifying Ritual. It's not as good on this specific mission, but it's still solid secondary, and I should be getting the five points on my home objective. I'm going to try and get a couple others throughout the game, get that like 10 to 12 category. Mm -hmm. Don't expect to max it here. Similar. This is typically a really low scoring games, especially when you look at tournaments. I went for um, Wrath of Magnus, this is a secondary you can take when your opponent also has a Psyker. Unfortunately, I like to take them when my opponent has like one or two Psykers. See, he's brought like a myriad of them. <laughs> a whole army of Psykers? A whole army. Uh, the way this one's going to work is I'm going to get uh, every battle round, we're going to see who casts more Witch Fires, Maledictions, and Blessings. And I get one point if I cast more for each of those categories. So. Luckily, Sieg's doesn't really have too many Maledictions in Grey Knights. I've got a few in Thousand Suns, so I should be able to get free money there. And then I have a lot more Witch Fires than he does, so I can even cast up the air with nothing in range to just trigger this ability. Yeah. Blessings, we're going to battle it out, but I'll have to keep track of, of this pretty dungeon. I have pretty much everything has a, access to a Blessing power, almost every single unit here. Yeah, the person going second is going to get a really big advantage, not just for the primary on the mission control, but also they'll have perfect knowledge for how many spells of each category they have to cast to... I'll have to cast a score, or Siegs will have to cast a deny that secondary. Yep. I've gone for Warp Ritual. Siegs is really powerful denies. Thousand Suns say, I don't care. I can auto pass that. I can make it undeniable. Thousand Suns actually have psychic rules. On <laughs> my Green Knights. <laughs> we it's got like some support. <laughs> I always look at their book and I'm like, why couldn't we get any of this? Like, even a third of what Thousand Suns got for the psychic phase would have been so much fun. Yeah. But, uh, too bad. Nope. <laughs> too bad, you shining space marines. And then finally, I have gone for Raise the Banners. I, much like Siegs, was faced with the what do I do here issue. Um, Wrath of Magnus is the same category I would take no prisoners in, so that is not really an option here. Uh, I could go for a purging enemy thing, but he doesn't really give up assassinate or bring it down, obviously. You have your Thousand Suns specific one, where if you kill me in the psychic phase... Uh, killing you in the psychic phase is something my army is really, really good at doing, but living in the psychic phase and denying kills is something you're really, really good at doing. <laughs> so I'm, I left that one at home, left me with either Shadowfield Ops or Battlefield Supremacy. My army is not designed to engage the fronts. It's not designed to bind enemy lines at all, super defensive turtle style, and then uh, looking to capitalize on mistakes in your movement with the teleports. And uh, along with that, I don't really want to come to your side and start doing actions. I really don't want to come to your side at all, ever. So I want you to be right in front of me, you know, with I, ideally as many units as possible. I figured banners for five on my home field. It's not bad. Better than no, no retrieve Nephilim data for four, if I just do my two halves. So uh, five is bigger than four, and that's what we're going with. <laughs> <laughs> and you have the potential if you go second and you're able to raise some more. I can raise some more, exactly. yeah. I can also go you know, table you in the first couple turns, and then you're just... I hope you try. I hope you, you hope I try. Well, I hope you try. I'm going to go... Do you want to go first or second, Zeke? Uh, second, because it's abandoned sanctuaries, and there's a huge advantage on primary if you go second. Yeah, the the disadvantage to going second here is that it's Dawn of War, so your opponent could really get up on you, put pressure on you, and kind of run away with the primary scoreboard. Neither of us are going to do that. We don't have armies to do that. So it's yeah. just a, it's two control armies going at it. Going second is going to be a huge advantage because it's going to give the other guy more control. Yep. All right, I'm going to roll a bigger, a smaller dice. Oof. That's a five. That's a five. That's, that's a five. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. Dice will seal However, your last fate. time I rolled a five, my opponent rolled a six. Oh, oh. double five. <laughs> new, new dice, new number. Green. I'm feeling right, green today. Come on, give me that one. Give me that one. Three. Three? That's not bad. That's, that's not, bad. not bad. That's not bad. Four, nice. Yes. No, we Get don't want to see the four. We don't hey. want to see the four. Good luck. Have fun, Mr. Too, Mr. Seeds. <laughs> oh, why is it always the four? Oh, uh, let's go. I'm gonna go to two commander points. Uh, me as well. All right. You're pink. Oh, well, now I'm blue. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've got my command phase abilities to think about here. Um, I have plus one strength or reroll a power for my Infernal Master, or, and I can try to pop the Umbrella for Crystal to teleport somebody. Do it! You know, I'm not going to do it super aggressively. I think a lot of players fall into that trap where they try to just crush a flank turn one, but Siegs is deployed behind walls. 
I'll probably fail the nine because I'm not Sieg's. Even if I hit the nine, then what? That's just a Terminator's in Sieg's army. <laughs> and then it's not going to be that powerful. So I could pop it to maybe get to one of these central objectives in the movement phase and then be able to raise a banner. Yep. Um, but doing so would put me a little bit exposed. Because uh, if I go here with like five rubric marines, the five interceptors that are back here will be able to just move out, charge, tear down my banner, and kill me anyway. That's a trade. Pretty easily. I'm, trade I'm not exactly thrilled about. Same thing would happen over here. And in the center, um, if I use rubric marines, yeah, same thing would happen. So if I do it with terminators, terminators might be able to take this flank. They don't really care about an interceptor charge. Stri strikes have a bit of a ways to go to try to hit mm -hmm. those mortals. Now you could, of course, go for your YOLO nines. If I do gate in there and actually kill them, uh, which my paladins are capable of, <laughs> it would be a huge swing. Yeah, I think that's, that's going to happen on basically any flank where if I try to use my Terminators, I could put them on the very edge of the objective and raise a banner and then get Zeus to have to try to go for the YOLO 9. But if he flubs it... Um, it's you know. still okay for me, honestly. It's still okay. <laughs> <laughs> if he goes for it and hits it, it's real bad. I could <laughs> double teleport, one with the Umbrella Crystal, one with five rubrics, to raise a banner on the back over here and then put five dudes closer to be a screen. Yeah, you could do that. Um, you could try to smite out my screen, potentially. Possible with the Libby and but, then teleport But if I do in. it on the far side, the Libby's pretty far away. You can't gate twice. Yep. So that's not a bad plan, and it lets me establish a flank, try to get some primary. Unfortunately, the onus is on me to go figure out how to win this game, because if we just sit here and stare at each other, our primaries are going to be trash all game, but then Siegs walks on for 20 points in the end. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have a super chat in the meanwhile from Mr. Vic VJ, who is our great friend, and I believe leading the ITC right now. Uh, I think he's number one, yeah. yeah he just he's surpassed Jack. doing amazing this Congratulations, year. Congratulations, Vic. Also a war member. Thanks so much for your super chat. Vic is a champion. He's also one of the nicest guys in 40k. And on top of that, he does appreciate you, Nick, but he's rooting for me because he loves Grey Knights, and I, I appreciate that, Vic. You know what, Vic? Ground power. <laughs> All right. So Thanks so much, Vic. I think I'm going to go for... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to measure it out. I'm going to look what my options are. This is one of the things you got to do. If you do the double screen, you should be fine, honestly. Oh, I, I should be fine with the double screen, right? And then, but uh, if you put the Terminator there, I'm going for the 9. I'm, I'm going to do the double screen. That's what, that's what we're talking about. So to put Terminators like here, I'd want to put like six Terminators on the objective, so that way even if you move up with five Interceptors or something, five Strikes, I'll still... Interceptors aren't obsec, just these strikes. Yeah. So I'd have to get strikes and interceptors to contest. So six terminators is a very easy fit. And then I could ring, where's your nine away? It's right here. Right there. Yep. Just so yeah, I, could, I could very easily. You should be able to put a model here, 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 and then right over there. Right over there. And that'll be a nice inter uh, screen. So I think I'm going to go for it, Mr. Siegs. We're going to pop the Umbola for Crystal turn one. Okay. Did you have any other command phase stuff to do? I do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're we're going to come over here for that. Oh, yeah, it's a good <laughs> And then just explain, because Thousand Suns have a lot of rules, a lot of complexity to it. I have my Infernal Master, so this is he's going to pick up my unit and put it there down. That's what the Unbelieved Crystal does, so I'm going to deep strike the unit. But yep. um, these other abilities, I get to do a Chaplain Chant, basically, like a Dark Apostle. Roll a die on a 2-up, I get a buff. It's either a free reroll, which is better than a command reroll, because it'd be one of any die, basically. Or it's plus one strength on my guns. Usually I do plus one strength on my guns, but in this case, I'm not shooting anything. So free reroll. Got it. Done. That's a red die for a red reroll. Okay, <laughs> now we're gonna go do our teleport. Okay, so into the old movement phase here. So I think this technically happens at the end, the picking up, the pulling them back down. For Necrons, it's any time in the movement phase, so you could actually move your other models and then do that. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Um, if you could measure out nine away with a stick, please. Yeah. Thank you. So over here, and they're gonna go raise that banner. So. It's not going to lay flat in this way, but I'll do it on this side. Sure. So yeah. it's about an inch. You have like about an inch. Four, five. Dice to get more accurate. So nine inches from this guy. Six. It's like right at the edge of the ruin. Nice. It's like right there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoops. So then they're going to raise a banner right on this objective. Okay. Duke. Banners up. Aggressive Banners. Terminators. So I'm going to spend eight cabal or seven cabal points to auto pass a teleport power. You don't want to mess that up and get my screen all depleted. <laughs> so then I'm going to have of my 2013 remaining. I would like to. So that's enough for the CP, right? 
That's enough for the CP. The CP is only four, so I'll have nine after that, which I could use to auto pass warp ritual or something. Uh, make warp ritual undeniable. Yep. And then I'd basically be done. So if I do that, he'll die unless I warp time him back to safety. Yep. And I'm out of deny range, so this is probably one of the turns Nick actually wants to do this. Mm-hmm. Do, do, do. So if I'm right there, this is deny is going to be right there. My shaman goes right here within six. Yep. But Nick will make it undeniable with the cabal points, which are amazing. <laughs> and then my guy will cast warp ritual, uh, or uh, rather, warp time. Yep. He just needs to be within a model here, and you're going to have uh, something up in this ruin, I assume. Yeah. So let's advance these flamers. They're going to advance. A See, six. You're already seeing how helpful these little widgets are. We don't just say that stuff. Move in 18. Move in 18. And with the help of my rubric screen, these will also be very hard for Seeks to do anything about. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. So these are just the first five flamers. One set of flamers is in reserve, I believe. One set of flamers is in reserve. Okay. Thanks so much, Jacob, for joining us as an Art of War member. Make sure you get access to our lovely Discord community and uh, access all those wonderful faction channels. Uh, the instructions for it is under the community page. Now that you're a member, you can view that particular post. So if I go right here, mm. I am very hard for you to charge. Uh, and I could be added no, to I have to. Yeah. I have to gate into you. Yep. So we'll put uh, this Psyker over here, just barely within six. And we're able to duplicity him, being bodyguarded by flamers. That's good. There we go. Okay. Uh, and you'll just want to think about gate, please. I definitely so want to think screen. about gate. So I got rubric lanes right here, yep. which are screening you to this point. So you could pretty much go back to there. Um, but then I got rubric lanes here as well. Let's advance these rubric lanes. Mm -hmm. So another squad of rubrics. They get a three. They get a three. Okay. Nine. Nine inches. So they can go out to here. They could get on the objective to bring you out to try to fight them off. Um, I think I'd rather just not at this point. I do have interceptors over here, so pretty easy to move right in front of you. I think we're just going to keep on screening here. Okay. Just push the gate plays back. Push the gate plays back. Because obviously Nick is putting a lot of pressure on me, so he wants to keep all the pressure on my yeah, half of the board. Niner. Yep. There Thank you go. You. There's one more over here. Yep. So I basically want to make it so that Sieg's loses his gate opportunity on this half, so he's not really going to get a good opportunity to hit my flamers. Let me gate. <laughs> no gates. Um, and then we'll put five rubrics strung up like that. Yep. Okay. Eight inch move here. And we'll leave some guys in cover. I don't trust you. Yeah, you can string them back. Um, I do have side cannons, they're two damage. So you'd have to spend minus one damage to get all his dust if you want. Yeah. It's only one CP for rubric, so that's not so bad. Yeah. You always want to make your opponent aware of your options. Very good sports. And then you've got those flamers, which are, I assume, just pushing up into the ruin. I'm just going to push up in this ruin, exactly. Okay. Um, in a position where if they want next turn, they could just move into this nook and raise a banner. Yep. Do, 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 do. And then we've got your characters and a couple characters. more rubric squads. Armand's got a shuffle over here. He'll advance to buff those terminators. Yep, he rolls a one. 13 is plenty. That's why you put him on a disc. <laughs> why you put him, I'm, I'm so sick of not having him on a disc. We've learned. <laughs> um, you important. would have been pretty sad about the, the one. Well, let's, you can always extend range, though. Let's have this guy. Fate skimmer. Just chill for okay. now. Mind his business. Uh, the rubric reigns here. We'll raise a banner. Mm -hmm. uh, so the second banner raised. Second banner raised. These rubrics will advance. Um, ten inches. We're not really going to ever get line of sight down this way. Um, Probably not. I'm not going to go all the way out into the corner. But they, they're really just trying to be a screen for now. So they'll just chill. Okay. Just make sure I can't go into your backfield. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and then we've got... Who else do we have hiding back there? These rubrics. More rubrics. Just come up and engage this ruin. Engaging the ruin. I want to make sure my nines are good. My nines are very good. Yep. 
And Nick doesn't want to leave Libby size holes. No, Libby size holes are, are mean. Another one. Uh, seven inch move, nothing crazy here. Just screening, basic screens. And we'll stay right there with a three long run. So got a good screens going on all over the board. Flamer stationing up. We still have one flamer in reserve. And that will bring us to the psychic phase. All right, so heading over to psychic here. So we are going to spend... I have a couple denies in range, but not... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me go back to my movement phase. I have yep. uh, forgotten that I'm going to teleport a unit, which will mess up my screens. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So this unit's going to have to... Actually, this unit can just be the one who teleports. That's perfectly fine, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, the one on the ruin's not really doing anything. It's not doing anything. Yeah, okay. So we're good. So where was I? We're going to start off with arm on casting buff powers. Well, actually, that could be the last thing I do in case I want to use... Oh, he doesn't use CP, but in case I want to use Cabals. Uh, this is such a complicated Why don't you do him first? Or Ritual. Great points. <laughs> we'll make it undeniable. That's going to cost seven. So, there we go. Might cost eight. I think that costs eight. Uh, it goes off. It does go off. Okay, can't yeah. deny it because, uh, because of the Cabal points. So that's the first Warp Ritual done. Yeah, and then we're going to cast Temporal Surge. We're actually going to use the... Uh, did I deny range? Do I want to make that auto pass? Or do I want... No, I want to make the Teleport auto pass. Yeah, you want to... So I'm going to use the 3d6, pick the two highest on the Temporal Surge. So usually I do this on the Athenian Scrolls, but I think against you, um, you have a really good opportunity to block my damage through mortals anyway. Yep. So I'm just going to get my warp time. I have my denies, plus I also have... Uh, and we're going to pick those two. So it goes off. Yep, a nine. It shouldn't be in range of any of that. Zangor Shaman. Shaman's away. Okay. He's going to get right up in here to help screen those for me as well. It'll be a little bit hard to charge. And then, Is it a normal move or like a certain instance? It's a normal move. Okay. And then we're going to spend uh, seven Cabal points. This is the seven. Which bring it down to five. Two auto pass teleport on those five Rubric Marines. They're casting on themselves. Okay. Obviously out of deny range. I'll keep track of how many blessings I'm casting. So so right now I've cast uh, Warp Time, which is a blessing. Okay. Is Temporal Surge a blessing? That's the, that's what I was just talking about. Yeah. Warp Time. Oh, okay. Change his name. Yep. So that's one. And what's the teleport? Uh, Cult of Duplicity. That's also a blessing. It's also a blessing. So two. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Now is this. Coming up? The or dice is the point where you could put the farthest right, point go. you could put them. Yep. Mm -hmm. so Let's go show that real quick. Mm -hmm. I think... Uh, Nick, you can't duplicity the shaman. He doesn't have the cult keyword. He wasn't getting duplicity. He, okay. was, he was temporal surging. Yep, temporal surge should be fine. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good catch, though. Okay. Do, 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 do. So just like that. And then screening. That's going to push you all the way over here, where my shaman will also push you. And then back over here, you're going to catch my shaman, so you're not going anywhere. All right, so that's good. Um, I've got to cast a couple maledictions. So, Rubric Marine Squad in the back is going to try to cast Twist of Fate, which is uh, ignore invuls. Uh, I fail it, so it's not going to count towards my maledictions. This is blessing. I'll do malediction as blue. As blue, okay. So uh, another that one failed or? that failed. Okay. Uh, we're going to try do the Cacodemonic Curse. I love these names. That will pass. So that's one malediction. I'm not in range of anything. Uh, I'm only casting this to try to get my Wrath of Magnus higher. Yep. Uh, the other one is going to attempt to cast, uh, what was the last one I took? Perplex. Perplex will pass. So two maledictions. Okay. Let's go to Armon. He's going to go for... Is any of that within deny range here? No. Okay. No. That was all back. I... Ruben back there. Cool, cool. So Tell I'm... me when you start doing the stuff up here. Yeah. I basically have, I guess my Rahadi guy should cast some witch fires just for the sake of it. Although he could perils. He's yep. going to attempt Firestorm, which will pass, uh, also out of deny range, because he's the one who cast Warp Time. I'm just going a lot of order. Sure. And so that's a Malediction, or that's a yep, Witch Maledic Fire. Witch Fire will be red. And then he, his other one, Smite, he could cast, or Teleport, he doesn't need that. So he's good. We'll have our last Rubric Marine Squad cast Doom Bolt, which that's passes. Well, that's a Is witch that a fire. Witch Fire? Yep. Okay, so two of each so far. Um, our Infernal Master will cast... Plus one command point. He's on the nine range, which is a warp charge three, so it'll pass. Warp charge three? Oh, yeah. Oh, Whoa. yeah. 
And that's which not type? A, that's not a type. It's an action. It's an action. Um, okay, so it's like mine, but mine goes off on a lot higher. Right. <laughs> um, so we've got Weaver of Fates. This is Armand now, so he'll do Weaver onto the five rubrics right in front there. Actually, you have a lot of AP two. Do you have any AP three in close combat that can hit them? Yes, all swords. Oh, everything swords. Yeah. Enemy. Okay. So yeah, we'll put Weaver of Fates on them, which will pass. So that's one blessing. Okay, three now. Um, we'll put uh, minus one to hit onto them, which will pass for two blessings. And is any this of is this also the five man? It's it's arm on casting forward onto the yep. five. Yep. Cannot right. deny that. Just tell me when the five man or the Terminators or that guy yep. attempts to cast. Um, and then we've got the Terminators are bannering, so they're not going to attempt to cast. They've already cast because they cast the teleport on themselves from back there. Okay, from back there. And so it's just I can only deny this guy. Can only deny that guy. That I guess guy. if there's a unit in here, I could deny them. Yeah, possibly. Uh, there should be no unit there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So his last one is Presage. We'll cast it just for the sake of it, uh, which will pass because he's plus one. He'll put it onto the Terminators, give them plus one to hit. And I can't deny this. No, it's a stole armor. A stole armor. How many spells does the man have? He's got three. Presage. Which type was uh, it? That is Blessing. Okay, five. Yep. I think that's going to be it for my psychic phase. So this guy's not casting anything? No, he's good. Okay. He's got he's, he heals, so. He heals and he teleports, and I've done both of those. Sure. Um, so I'm good on that. I don't really have guns. So that's kind of lame. I guess <laughs> that's my turn. So I right. scored a three on Warp Ritual by making it undeniable. I've started my banner raising. I got a... Nothing on the bonus primary because I left the center. Yep. Uh, I'll go put that in. Did you want to leave something on the center? No, no. You could, I'm happy to put you. I'm have sure it. you the are. The Shaman can yeah, just. The Shaman's going to stay right where he is. Uh, I'm going to go up to four command points. So you go up to three. Yep. All right, Siegs. What you thinking? Gonna How are you going to respond to this? I'm going to keep these dice over here at the edge of the tray so that we don't. Well, I'm going to put them uh, like. Yeah, there. Put them so, right there. That's what I have to beat. Yeah. So I. Uh, this is maledictions, right? The two blue. The the, two, the blue is mal uh, the blue is maldiction. You already have that. I can't beat you on that. I only have empiric amplification. So okay. So you already didn't get a point guaranteed. I can deny the other two though. Mm -hmm. All right. So Drago's going to give uh, chapter master to the paladins here, and let's see what we want to do. So probably going to have to put pressure on either the center or this objective to combat what Nick is doing over here. Let me just walk around the table real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got five rubrics in this unit. We've got another five rubrics, five rubrics, and the flamers. And then over here is just five rubrics screening out the backfield with the characters. So, hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. I am going to go for some nine inch play on gate. Don't you <laughs> like, do it. No. I'm, Don't do, you I'm do doing it. it somewhere, Nick. It's going to happen. <laughs> <It's exciting. laughs> but we'll, we'll figure, we'll figure that Remember, out. Remember, uh, if, if you cast a power within. Uh, deny range of two of, of, sorry. If you cast a power within range of one of my guys, it's in deny range, 24 inches. And that guy is within six inches of another Thousand Suns caster. Yep. Uh, I can use 3d6 deny. Okay. Well, I'm going to string. Gate's going to be all the way out of deny range for sure. For now. For now. For now. <laughs> Unless you can extend to your deny. Can you extend I deny can range? No, no. Okay. Because mm -hmm. Drago is already out of deny range. This goes away. Oh, I had a free reroll that turn. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Do what do you want to use it on? Nothing. I passed everything. It was okay. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the ideal turn. <laughs> Nothing went wrong. It's a first. All right. These guys are going to come out over here. Mm -hmm. oh. It's going to come over this way so that your flamers have to come up and touch to nope, deal with it. They'll touch. They'll flame touch. All right. And then this guy here. All right. Those guys will probably just attempt the action anyway. Mm hmm. These guys will shuffle up. And you have just your, the only teleport now that you have is um, the, cult of simplicity. the psychic, the psychic power. Okay. So yeah, no more movement phase teleports. Mm -hmm. right. Man, you're going to fail gate and then your whole turn's going to do nothing. I mean, I'm positioning anyway. I'm going to stick these guys out because they have psychic cannons. Oh. Oop. Not the psychic cannons. Eh, if I force you to spend CP on minus one damage, that's seriously, not bad. that's annoying. Yeah. Whatever. I'm going to spend my CP to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stick them a little 
farther back. Just want to draw a line of sight to that one rubric we need. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, the librarian doesn't really need to do too much. He's not going to be in range of anything, and I, Nick set up that screen, so there's no real point in gating him over there. Yeah, unfortunately. So you like that plan? Who does the double screen? He'll advance. No, he's not charging anything. I'll ignore my double screen, Seeks. Okay. He'll just come into this. He's ignoring my double screen. <laughs> you hear this? I mean, <laughs> Jacob White. I appreciate you becoming a member. Hopefully, Seeks doesn't ignore that. No, I will, I will not ignore that. We will right? not ignore that. <laughs> Just my ramblings. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. can actually oh, I can, I can save the reroll. I forgot it was, I thought it was only even my player turn. I'll save it. I'm going to pass an armor save or something. Deny the witch or, you know, an overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have these guys touching cover. Just screening out. Mm -hmm. These guys are screening out over here. Thanks, Redick. Okay. And then they're all good. He's just tucked in so he can't be shot up. Now, there's no point in going over here because Nick has a ton of obsec on that. Oh, yeah, we do. So, well, oh, yeah. I put specifically six Terminators on there, so even if Seeks put a five-man strike onto my rubrics, killed them all, he wouldn't contest the objective. We go in for that eight. Would be going for a 12, but Seeks decided to give me units to shoot at, which I'm all in favor for. we got to we shoot stuff this game. And then the rest of the models are going to go up in this part of the room. We didn't have to shoot stuff until we won the roll for first. And okay. now we got to shoot stuff. And then these guys are they're on the bottom, you're saying? Yes, cool. they're bottom. Okay. Just showing us uh, where you are. No these problem. Guys a little farther off. No problem. Okay. It's screened out over here. Uh, these guys, I'm going to just advance that unit. Mm -hmm. Just going to move. Is that a four? That's a four. Okay. Do, do, 16. Do. So that guy is going to go over here. Yep. If you could just uh, uh, leave your finger there. Right there. I'm just going to jam the unit right over here. Jam in. You're running away? I mean, there's nothing that I can do that's going to contest that besides making a paladin play. Oh, that's and what I like to hear. There's nothing that you can do, Seeks? You have uh, one, two, three, six, six plus four obsec bodies. Mm -hmm. So ten? Ten. Yeah. I'd have, have to get every single one of these models on there, which is possible, but... I At just what throw, cost? Throw yeah. away all my models. Throw away your models. Remember, I do have flamers in reserve for your screens. Yep, thank you. These guys are going to do retrieve Nephilim in this quarter. Ah, the strikes, retrieving the Nephilim data, thinking they're people. They are people. Well, and they'll just be off the wall, so you have to come through it. So yeah. you have to come and get me. Makes sense. Although I just don't think you're going to be charging me. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I think it's now time for the Psychic. We'll go ahead and cast with them first. Actually, we'll do the CP power. Divination, which goes off. Okay. So that's um, out of deny range. Yeah. Um, I have a Shaman right here. Is the closest deny. So he's right about there. So yeah, he's out of range, but I have most of your stuff. Okay. With him. I'm going to move Draco just slightly back so that he's just out of range of that guy. For the gate. Yeah. No problem. Because mm -hmm. that's really the only thing yeah. that I need to go off. So let me know when so they cast. I yep. Mean, this unit casts, or I guess when this librarian casts. I will let you know. Mm -hmm. All right. So I go up to four command points. You get the payback. That's me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Trying to switch my. I like the dice. blue dice. All right, uh, so uh, purifying over here goes off. Uh, purifying on six can't stop that, right? These guys uh, might have the sorcerer in range. The regular thousand suns guys in range. Okay, I rolled a six on the first one. Try to stop it on. No, you got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we've got so the other unit doesn't need to cast anything. They've already. So the other unit will cast a, a blessing spell. Yes. Okay, it goes off. So that's one blessing, and Here, we I'll did. Just, I'll count it like this. So. We did green as blessing, right? Now I have four. I have four up on you. I'll count it like that. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, those guys are doing an action, so cannot cast. I casted already a power with them. He casted. Um, yes. What was the blessing you cast? So it was ethereal castigation. Oh, so just you can cast as many times, but it gets harder. It does get harder. Okay. Uh, by one. So mm -hmm. that's the first one. These guys will go ahead and do it. Okay. Actually. We'll go with these guys first. Cause they want a pure flying ritual? Yes. They want the, yes. Okay. So nine. Um, I could attempt to get ahead of the points factory here um, by blocking it on 3d6. I want to just let this happen. I think this isn't so bad. Okay. okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. They'll go. Which? Five. Go off on a five. Uh, hold on. Yep. 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 Reroll that. 
Maybe you love seeing uh, No, I don't. Nope, I don't so think it's worth it. Roll six. Oh, I think I'm going to reroll that. All right, cool. I'd rather Nick use CP here. Yeah, I want to just roll the six there, but uh, the same about V. So I'm down to three CP. That's me again. But you do Eight. deny it. Okay. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> <You're the pain. laughs> okay. <laughs> so I do deny it. It's only two points on ritual. Yep. Not too bad. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go for um, the Terminators. We'll do their Armored Resilience, which would fail. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I really need it, honestly. Uh, I have enough models touching cover, so that's fine. We'll go with the... Um, although, it means I could just stand out in the open against all your shooting, which is powerful. Let's go ahead and do it. Going for the rerolls. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Okay. Goes he does up. get it. That's right. good that is a blessing play. as well. Yep, okay. So down to up to one three on you. Yep. Let's go with uh, Libby Man. Mm -hmm. Okay, fails his first power, so it doesn't really matter what he does next. You're going to get the point for... What was he casting? Just, uh, a, just a witch purifying. fire? Purifying. Okay. Yeah. He was just going to cast a witch fire. Yeah. But failed the first one, so, so I'm not going to... You can really score that as get well. Get the witch fire. Nice. Yep. Now, blessings is the only thing I can, so they're going to go. Mm -hmm. They're at plus one to cast, which does go off in perils. perils. They're going to take three mortals. Three mortals. And I only ignore one, so one Kill guy, the guy goes down. That guy. I like that, but it does go off, so that's a blessing. Yep, another blessing. Mm -hmm. And then Drago will try and, if he casts both of his powers... And then he'll stop in that point. Yep, so I'll cast on 3d6. Nice. Just to make sure both go off. Yep. So first one is... Gate. Gate, because it's relevant. It's actually relevant. Goes off on an 11. I can't stop it, so nope. you got Gate. Where you want to go, Siegs? Just where you are? Nothing too fancy? I thought the yellow nines were coming in. No, no, no. You, know, yeah, you said you were going to YOLO 9. All right. I wish we left all those dice out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, over there, and there's a guy right here. There's no guy right there, but there's a guy in the corner of this room. All right. If you want to just hold that over him. Yeah. Let me get some dice for you and do it with this thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he is right. Because if I did, if I'd failed armor of resilience, I'd have to play more defensive with them. Now that I passed it, I can play a little more aggressive. There. Okay. And then nine from there. there. It's like over here. There. So it's kind of like in that middle area right over there. Yeah. Okie doke. So I could touch the center with them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, or I can just put a lot of pressure on this objective over here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. It's exactly what he's going to do. Okay. Don't love that. And I've left the characters in range of multiple units, so mm -hmm. uh, I'm not too concerned about what happens over there. Yeah. It's, my army's good at character sniping, but not against yours. All right. I'm just going to pull all the models at once. Too many denies and too much moral defense. All right, and this is the only thing I could declare as a charge target besides the one character, correct? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then everything else is farther behind. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just double checking. No so way. right there. Let's take a let's take some bets. Who in the poll? Who in the chat? All you <laughs> wonderful viewers think Siegs is going to hit the nine-inch charge? I'd like just yes or no. If he does it or he doesn't, someone start the poll because I am at like ninety-nine point nine percent. He's hitting it. <laughs> I actually kind of think Siegs will shoot my rubrics, kill half of one, and then hit the charge. <laughs> you think I'm going to shoot them at this point? I, I mean, I wouldn't, personally. Maybe I would. I don't know. You will shoot them and charge them after they're dead. <laughs> Am I that guy? <laughs> I did do that to Jack. You've really custodian. scarred me, Siegs, with these charges. It's something else. Like, I do all these effortful screens, and Siegs is like... <laughs> They're He's hitting it. He'll get it on an eight. They're going to go over there. Do you have plus one? Can you get it? No, you have to roll nine. What's that? You no, I have to. Uh, there's no. The pluses are as a warlord trait where I'd have to make it with my warlord first and then there'd be um, that's right, additional that's pluses. Right. Crazy. So you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I've kind of interspersed them, but I'm going to shoot my side cannons down at those dudes. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I'm going to charge these guys. All right. They're going to spend the one for minus one damage. Oh, uh, let me finish my uh, blessings. Okay. That's your command points. Yep. This is my command points. Okay. Okay. You don't have to spend it just yet. Okay. I will not then. Okay. And that's once again my command. <laughs> <laughs> so Stop. You're, actually, you're down to two. No, I'm at three. No, because you used uh, yeah. the 3d6 cast. I was cast. at four. Yeah, so you rerolled one, you 3d6 cast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I used 3d6 mm -hmm. cast. Yep. And then here's gate to tie you. All right. So cool. Oh, so. You didn't take you did me down gate, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I tie you on that. You'll get two points on yours thing. Yep. Uh, so Sanctuary will go on these guys. Those guys are Sanctuary. Because it doesn't matter. It matters to me. 
Okay. Uh, shooting. Shooting the Psy Cannons at those guys. So now I go down to two, because I only spent the one on, three D on the reroll to nine. Mm -hmm. I had four this turn. Okay. Yep. I'll keep messing both of our... No, it's totally fine. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. So yeah, minus one damage. Two. So I, you're not in cover, right? Volume is a little low. Mine on? Is yours on? Mine's on. You're not in cover, right? Um, on that squad? I don't think so. Let me check. No. Uh, one model is, actually. One model's in cover? One model's in cover. Okay. Because uh, I can put extra AP and stuff on there. I would rather just kill as many models as possible. So what's your AP? You need two? So I'm going to go to strength eight, AP two. Okay. So I'm in cover with that guy. And all is dust and armor of contempt. So functionally, I will still take a two of save on that model. Everyone else will get threes. Exactly. Okay. Okie doke. And then these storm bolters are going at those dudes. Yep. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. Zeke's down to one CP already to try to do some damage to Rubik. You like that? I mean, if I kill a couple of my extra models, your screens start to fall apart for the next turn, which is That's true. what I'm looking for. Thinking ahead. Okay, rerolls. Rerolls. This was cocked. Yep. Okay. And then twos to wound. Got some ones in there. This is the side cannons? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take it on the guy in cover. Uh, he's got two yeah. wounds and it's one damage. Just take him two at a time. Yeah. Oof. Come on, buddy. You can power save this. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he goes down. All right, then three three ups. Yep. Kills another one. Siegs. Okay. Chill. Uh, and then the storm bolt AP got through. Four. Six. Okay, so that's actually my soul reaper because that was poor placement. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. And then that guy cannot see anything. Okay, threes rerolling, and these are going to be wounding on fours, mm -hmm. and uh, you're going to get two ups. Yep. Okay, no reroll the wound, just five, two ups. And five, two ups. Wound to the guy. Cool. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go for the only yellow charges. That I have. Yep, charging into them. Needs a nine. Ooh. Only a seven, Siegs. <laughs> I've overhyped you. I've overhyped it. I should just always overhype it. Can I get a CP reroll, your last CP? No, it doesn't actually. It doesn't, doesn't actually make a huge deal. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Cool. That's it? Yep. All right, so for scoring, um, I'll go up to three CP. You go up to two CP. You get your bonus primary for two. I do. Um, I'll get I'll an go. eight and two banners. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, it's turn two for you. I'm going to go ahead and... Turn two for both of us. Yep. I'll get two on Wrath of Magnus as well. Yep, you got two points. I was able to deny Blessings, which is the one I have the most on, but uh, the other ones are going to be hard. My free reroll. Oh, I could have used it on a save. I'm gonna use it on a save, Seeks. I have a guy left. I got the wound. My apologies. No, no problem. Boop, boop, boop. I will not have a soul reaper for my troubles. All right. Um, so I'm at two, and you're at three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so now I've got to figure out my turn. I don't have the umbrella of the crystal. I just got to figure it out if I'm going for damage with the terminators. I think I should, right? The, your Terminators can take two up saves against all of my AP2. Yep, they can just take two ups all day. They can take two ups all day. I can shoot this guy. What's the line to shoot this guy? These guys get shot. If I just back up a little bit, I can just peel five interceptors pretty easy. Ah, Terminators taking two ups from AP2 is so brutal. These guys can just move forward and contest the objective. Um, add some firepower. No heroics over there. No, I don't have any. I don't have that upgrade. These guys can condense themselves and screen. That'll be a screen and a move block. The flamers. The flamers could flame over here, and that'll force the terminators to stay on this side of the board in the middle of nowhere for a turn. Not bad. That means my Terminators get a little less committal. Just back on up, shoot down this alleyway at those guys. Yeah, just shoot you right there. Yeah, I got that's the line basically. Right there. Mm -hmm. yep. So I can get most of my guns pretty. If doable. you come back, yep. If I go backwards. Yep. 
Um, alternatively, I just flamer them. You could also just flamer them. They're very flamerable. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I assumed you were going to do. Um, what are my nine inches like over here and over here? So this area should be fully screened for a full squad. I think I can get five there, but if you want to yeah, I can just get No problem. But you can get over there. I didn't even bother trying to screen that. Over here is actually harder. Um, but I think I can get here anyway. Yeah. Well, maybe not. This one's tough. They're right at the edge. Um, I think we just keep on pushing our screens. Uh, just remember I have the two strike squads and the Libby in reserve that are coming the next turn. Right. We definitely Possibly. need to keep pushing our screens. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so flamers can get here, shoot Siegs off of this thing, do another undeniable warp ritual, still have all yeah. 20 Cabal points. Because the flamer. Um, let's go for plus one strength on the Terminators. Okay. They got it on two. So up to strength five now? Up to strength five. Go ahead and hit the top down. Oh, thanks. Mm. All right. And then they'll go down that line to just get some shots. No, I don't know if this matters. If they just go this way five inches, and I extend range, I have 35 inches. Who's in range? Nobody. Still just a... If I warp time, I can do it. Um, yep, if you temporal surge them. Charge range by interceptors, that's really not too painful because um, you lose so much resources. So I'll probably go for the warp time. Okay. And the ones that can will see down that alleyway. Mm -hmm. Here come the Terminators. Soul Reapers have longer range. They're just going to fire, which is lovely. Do, 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 do. And then we'll be plenty of OPSEC on the objective. Six, to be precise, which is that magic number. Um, did you get my two banners? Yep, I got two on banners. Excellent, thank you. These strikes can come forward and really hurt. They could. Um, it's annoying, for sure. <laughs> Basically, if Nick gets off that objective, then I can actually still use them. He also has to worry about the potential uh, deep strikes. I think we're just going to keep screening like this. Okay. This unit. And then that'll put you on the, the wrong side of this area. Mm -hmm. You said it's all swords on those strikes? Yeah. Okay. I am prescient, so I have access to the one CP reroll, ones to hit, ones to wound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The... These guys are just going to move. Obsec the objective. You're not obsec, right? No. Okay. Not right now. Obsec the objective. Cast a power, maybe it'll work. Yeah. So just screening, shooting, basic stuff. And then you have the other squad back there. The flamers can come here. Yep, they could just be within 12. Mm -hmm. Five of them. And that would be a little challenging for you to try to deal with. I think that's good. Death by armor save. Okay, just massive amount of two ups. Eventually you'll roll ones. Yeah, I, I do. You do. Eventually. All right. They've got range to two of them, so even if I smite one out somehow, should be plenty. Over here, we're just going to advance these guys. Mm -hmm. A three. Easy. Just get up into the ruin. Into the ruin. Basic screens. Okay. And just remember that Libby size hole. You don't want that. No. But I think with the flamers being there, then yeah. easy. No Libby size holes. Yep. Uh, over here, get some more mortal wound action going. 18 is good. Any okay. damage is good damage. Flamers, I think we'll... Yep, just within 12 of that guy, I assume. Just within 12, within 6 of this guy. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, that's possible. Mm -hmm. That's easy. Do, 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 do. So this is five flamers, and then you have the shaman, who I assume is going to come out again. Yes, he's yeah. going to do an undeniable, I think, warp ritual. Just get it done with. Yep. So he can go back to the same spot. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. Cabal points are pretty powerful. They sure are. <laughs> over here, uh, I'll come over. You can 3d6 deny? Yes. 
Is anyone, is that over anybody back there? Yes, yes. two different squads. So if I go back here. And then you have, obviously, the squad here. The squad's there, and he's there. So I'm going to be in deny range no matter what. Yep. But you have the ability to make things undeniable. And now the thing is, if you use the Cabal points to auto-pass a power, it's at the minimum mm -hmm. needed. So I can still roll decently on my deny. That's true. So he's going to move 10 this way. There's nothing too exciting here. Well, you know, he'll come back this way. It needs to be the screen for next turn. These guys not doing anything too interesting. Again, just blocking out that Libby-sized hole. Yep, exactly. The Libby is like this missile that is just such a small base size. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. do Armand's chilling. I got guys over here. What do you have in your home ruin? The Five rubrics. Five rubrics. Cool. Five rubrics. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty all set. So let's go. Do I want to bring my flamers in as the last conundrum? I don't think so. I think I want to keep you messing around for another turn. Okie doke. To the psychic phase. All right, um, so uh, I'm going to grab those colored dice again. Where'd the green one go? Uh, I'll use it as a wound. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to switch. Here. Here. Yep, I'm going to swap that off. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Oh, it's still. I know, I need one of the greens. <laughs> I need one, need of, the one of the greens. It's complicated. Please. Okay, here we go. Okay. So witch fires. Uh, blessing, Malediction. Excellent. So we got to be a little careful here. Let's start off with Warp Ritual from the Shaman, which will pass on a four. We'll make it undeniable. Oh, yeah, that's eight of them. Yeah. So 12 left. Um, you better make that undeniable. <laughs> make it undeniable. <laughs> um, those Terminators, we're going to try to warp time them. Okay. Uh, goes off on a seven. I'll keep it. Okay. Uh, you could deny this. This is from over here. Oh, okay. You have the, these guys Did you want to make that not? I, I can't. It's too far. Okay. So you can just try to deny it with the street. Okay. The so I need I need to roll a, a seven myself. I do. Yep. Plus okay. one. Deny no terminators. That's all right. All right. So um, he will go for cult of duplicity. I think on those terminators, which will pass on a seven, eight, because my plus one. Um, oh, I forgot my plus one before. It's okay. So eight. I still uh, beat you with my plus one. Right. I rolled an eight plus one was nine. And these guys, they are in deny as well if you want to double try it. Uh, what is this power? This is teleport. This is teleport. Mm -hmm. um, and you rolled an eight? I rolled an eight. Okay. Uh, I could 3d6 this. I t what, do you move your terminators closer to me? No, I don't care. I'll just normal deny. Denies. Plus one, denies. Nice. Okay, then we will go for no more denies over here. The he could heal, so he'll wait. These guys can't see anything. They're gonna try to gain a command point. Uh, they do. That's four cabal points. I'm up to four CP. Do, do any of these other guys within 24? Not of that stuff. I'll let you know when I go over here. Okay. Because so I have two units that are here, this unit and that unit. I only use two denies. You use both of these on yeah, yeah. to stop him. So you okay. have this unit over here. So 24. So he, they could stop my Terminators and my Rubrics. Okay, so but not this character. Right. Terminators will cast extra six inch range on a seven. All right, I'll try and deny it. Do not. Nice, three for three. Um, uh, which power did you get off? What's the command point one? Uh, what type? It's an action, it doesn't count. Okay. <sighs> okay, Armand's gonna go for some blessings. He's gonna put Plus one invul onto those rubrics. Got it. That's a blessing from way back there. Okay. He's going to go for presage on the terminators. Rerolls for Armon. Passes. That's another blessing. Two. And he's going to go for minus one to hit onto the same rubrics, which will fail. But rerolls for Armon would pass. Three blessings good. Okay. Okay. The rubrics and I assume he's at deny range of anything else. Yeah, cool. These rubrics are going to cack a demonic curse here. Okay, I like that word. This is a malediction, which goes off on an eight. Okay. That's okay, right. so it goes off every time the ten terminators move, uh, advance, charge, that kind of thing. I roll a dice for every moment you know a six dick immortal. It's similar to uh, the Grey Knight uh, Brotherhood, that Brotherhood power. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Let's move on to the Chariot Man. And that was Malediction or Whip? Oh. That was a Malediction. Malediction. Chariot Man is going to go for Zinch's Firestorm on them, 
which will pass on the 10 because he's plus one. Uh, so your only deny here would be the other of the two denies here. Or did you try to deny perplex? Or, uh, yeah, I did. Two? Yeah, okay. So uh, I rolled you, it. You have one deny left out for that guy. What else does he have besides this? He's got plus one to it on flamers or smite. Smite. Uh, and what is the, this is roll against the number of models in my unit? This is nine dice every five up is a mortal, and if I kill a model, it's another mortal. Okay. Uh, you rolled a nine? Rolled a nine plus one to ten. Ten. You just go ahead. Okay. Nine dice on fives, not a single mortal. Cool. Cool, he said. <laughs> that was a witch fire, so we got one witch fire. Uh, we're going to do plus one to win the flamers. Perils, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, I take three. Nice. He's got six left. Okay, you do get it off though. Um, so uh, technically, if I rolled box cars, I could. No, I can't. Uh, is he plus one too? To he's that? plus one too. So, so it's thirteen. So I literally cannot. Um, that doesn't. That's so much fire. Or that's a. It's that. But isn't that? That's a blessing. Z I'm sorry. It's your Zinch caster, right? It's my Zinch caster. Uh, so it doesn't, doesn't count. count. Yeah. Okay. So you don't. Um, you have no witch fires yet. No witch fires. Oh man, I need to start doing stuff. Well, I denied a lot of your powers. You really did. <laughs> uh, I got my buffs off, but my witch fire's looking rough. I've got those guys. They and I have those. And I have these rubrics. I think that's everything. Oh, I have the rubrics there. Those rubrics will cast uh, Twist of Fate just to cast it. Does not go off. Okay. These rubrics will attempt a Doom Bolt just to attempt it. Does go off on a twelve, so that's a witch fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boom. And that last rubric squad, what are they gonna do? Um, perplex, I guess, just to get another malediction. Sure. Goes off on a seven. I have been saving this deny. Yep. So this is the last thing. Um, I have eight cabal points left, so with that I can go back and cast uh, another power. But yeah, all right. I'll just try and deny. It doesn't don't even deny it. Okay. So perplex. Your, no addiction, correct? Yes. Your terminators can only shoot something within twenty four inches of them. Okay. I know. <laughs> I literally, just have it to be a malediction. Yeah, that's fair. Um, then I can spend eight cabal points to recast a power that's already been cast. So uh, any power? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Any any witch fire power, I should yeah. say. So I will recast Doom Bolt with these guys, which fails. Okay. That was lame. I, I missequenced that psychic phase a bit. It's okay. Um, two. Well, you got yourself a point because I can't get enough of these. That was important for the for the maledictions. Maledictions. Yeah. Maledictions will get you a point. I can deny the other two. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna leave those over there. Yep. So let's do the shooting phase. I'll start off with five flamers. Man, what a psychic fit. Like, how, here. how long does that take? I know. <laughs> five flamers into these interceptors. Jesus. Uh, 10 plus 6 is 16, plus 15, 31. <laughs> Just a casual th I love how it's always like 16 plus. <laughs> Let's get wrecked. 31. 10 threes. Threes, reroll, and ones. I'll pull out one. That no, was I wound. So these were not. The two. Those, these are ones. Those are ones. Those are ones. I pulled out two ones. I rolled a single two and all that. Okay. All that's AP two. You got two in the open. Three in cover. Three in cover. Take it on the guys in open first. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put them over here for now. So mm -hmm. four at a time. All right. So one guy goes down. Yep. Two at a time now. He goes down. Yep, so these two are done, and the rest okay. is all going to be uh, threes. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the squad. Ouch. Ooh, doo, doo. Flame, flame, flame. Fair and balanced unit. Fair and balanced. So let's do five more flamers at these guys. Yep. Okay. It's almost max shots. All that, but that's a record. So max shots minus one. <sighs> so 44. My. Okay. <laughs> what a great unit. Thank so, you, Games Workshop. This twice. Wounding on three. Approve the Chaos Demons Codex. At least you're getting twos on this. Um, yeah. So, out of the why first 22. Why don't I just was, take all this? And yeah, then. sure. 17. Awesome. Two ups. I'm going to fail th four. Four. Okay. So, guy in a wound. Yep. We'll do it again. My 125 point squad. It's not as broken as Scions. Uh, somehow. <laughs> somehow. Okay. Uh, uh, one more. Yeah, I can so pull that out. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I failed four wounds total so far. Mm -hmm. 
That's going to be five, six, seven. Wow. So two guys go down. Two in the wound. Okay. I'll just leave the two over here. Okay. And put the wound over there. One of those guys. Oh, um, that guy at the end. Okay. 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 We'll shoot uh, two bolters, a soul reaper. Three Thanks. bolters and a soul reaper Just over here. That guy has to stay. Okay, good. Three bolters, bolt pistol. No bolt pistol. Three bolters. And fours. Mm -hmm. Two AP2s, two up saves. Two ups. Nice. Uh, he has two wounds remaining. He's taking one. He's taking seven damage. Yep. And the soul reaper. Not the best of rolls. One, one hit. One hit. Strain six. Yep. Three one AP. Wounds. Three. Three up. Okay. Good. Nice. Over here, terminators. The ones that can see are just these two out of range. You, you so don't have, yeah, you don't the, have the two soul reapers out of yep. range. So two hellfire missiles. Three one ones from my guy. And on twos would be three hits. Strength eight is twos. Three wounds. D3 damage. What's the uh, uh, AP on? It's AP2, so you can reroll for a two up. Yeah, I think I'll keep that guy alive. Okay. I still have 10 more shots coming at AP3. Oh, okay. Sorry. Nope. Go nope. ahead. Okay. Um, I didn't know you had more shots. Two damage kills him. Okay. And then just 10 more shots. Mm -hmm. Two's the hit. And you got that without getting extended range off? The ones, yeah, because the, the two Soul Reapers are 30 base. Mm. No, I'm saying, didn't you fail extended range? I did, yeah. So yeah, I'm within that's why you shouldn't be able to. Oh, you're absolutely right. Yeah, because I pulled so, so no, if you want to reroll it, then I don't have any more shots coming your way. Okay, cool. So, Ooh. you, you want to reroll it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to reroll the two up. So down to one CP. And he still dies. Oh. Ha. Come on. Appreciate the free CP, Seeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was worth keeping them alive. Uh, I believe I am done with my turn. Guess I can charge these interceptors to try yep. to tie them up. You totally can, because they're going to go hit that rubric squad. They or are, they actually might kill. Or they character. might kill a character, but they are totally. I'm definitely going to try and kill that character. Going to yeah, that would suck. <laughs> um, they might not kill you. They might kill me though. They could. <laughs> I don't want to kill. Have my rubrics die, and then also. Yep. I think I'm just going to deal with the fact that they're there and be sad. Sad panda monkey about it. Um. Is that really my turn? Yeah, I guess that's all. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Siegs. You're going to let them go? Yeah. You're going to let the interceptors go in your backfield? The, let the interceptors have. I'm, I'm not going to charge him and then. You're going to kill me. It's just, not guaranteed that I kill you. I might have to spend my CP. How many attacks is it? It's uh, 16. It's hitting on threes, drew on nothing. Wounding like on threes. Seven. AP3 means you have uh, wow. five up. Yeah, I don't. I'm, not doing Six is more. I'm not doing it. Yeah. I'm not doing it, Zeke. Okay. Okay. Don't love it, but comes <laughs> the breaks. Uh, you're good. I missed my bonus again. Uh, you will score an eight. Oh, did you? Oh, want you'll to score four. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't. I don't want to leave you there. Okay. Uh, so I'll score an eight. You scored a four. Um, yep. No bonus for me. I'm gonna go up to command points. I go up one as well. What does that put us to? Uh, were you at four? Um. Like you weren't at four. I was at two when the turn started. I went up. Yeah, I went up to four. I didn't spend any. Okay. So you're at five then? No, yeah, it's so not five. Nice. Okay. And then you're at two, you said? Yeah, I'm up to two. Okay. I, yeah, I get command points very fast in this army. Okie doke. So Witch Fires and Blessings, pretty easy for me to deny Nick points on that. Uh, he's, you're going to get a point for the Malediction guaranteed, so I'm just going to take that away because mm -hmm. uh, I can only cast one Malediction. All right, so let's see what we want to do. What are you thinking? We're going to move up here for sure. These guys are going to go into there <laughs> for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are getting Chapter Master. They're probably going to go up and hit the Shaman, I guess. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know how important that. That's probably not that important. They might just do the old string back again. Shoot the Flamers one more turn. Yeah. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. Okie doke, and then nine inches away. So if I want to bring anything in, I can go over here. I can go over there. And I can potentially go over here. Yeah. Okay. And then you should have everything else screened out. Yeah. Yep. Okie doke. Interesting. 
Interesting. I'm actually Indeed. probably going to bring strike squads down. I might bring a strike squad down and save the interceptors. Mm -hmm. That way, I can uh, I can save my speed for a little a little bit later. Um, and then these guys move up. What do they need into the flamers? So five inch charge, or four inch charge, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. You move five. Move five. Yeah, you are within ten. Yeah, I should be just within ten. It looks like. Mm -hmm. All right, and then these guys are. Is that over your base? That's over my base, yeah. All right. So Looks more than 16? Like, yeah, more than 16. So four inch charge as well? Yeah, that's not good. Okay. He doesn't have any s overwatch. He doesn't have a flame weapon, right? No, nah, you're going to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> you bet I am. I'm going to consolidate into some of your Man, shooting. He, he failed both his spells and this sad. And he took perils. <laughs> oh, I took a perils. Probably going to get him killed. <laughs> guy. <laughs> what a guy. Okay. So I want to clear this side over here. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and start moving. Yep, yep, yep. So we know it's a four inch charge. I could go after the rubrics if I want instead. Yeah, there's plenty of threats. Really trading sides over here. Do a little circle around the table. Do, do, do. All right, let's go, go interceptors. Go, go interceptors? Yep. Go, go gadget interceptors. At least I killed one of them. <laughs> you did, uh, killed of those one. ones? Yeah, I killed, no, I killed one of One unit, yeah. 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 Set up that charge, mm -hmm. and then just in case I fail uh, armored resilience, I'm going to have all the models touching cover. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> seems like a good idea. That 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 could happen. All right, so that's going to be fine over there. We've got. I either bring down the strike squad. I could also move these guys away because they're not doing too much. You got tons of obsec on there, but honestly. They're kind of just keeping you honest. You actually have to leave a decent amount over here. If Nick evacuates with the Terminators, then I can send them out. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm not worried about Rubrics charging me. That's true. And they're still screening out the Flamers from here. So I'll keep that. They're just chilling, yeah. Keep that screen going. Mm -hmm. I never really want to deal with them because they're not defending anything. Yep. They're just existing on the table. All right. So Interceptors, if they move out 12, put them there somewhere. Uh, if you charge my shaman, I have a 2d6 heroic strat. Yeah. It's like the salamander thing. Only if you charge characters. So they get a row in 2d6? Yes. Okay. If you charge a character. But if I charge over here. Oh, if I only a character charge? If you charge one of one my of Thousand Sons character. characters, gotcha, I gotcha. get to defend my character. Totally. Yeah. I think if I come over here, I'd still be pretty decent, mm -hmm. decently safe. But remember, I can do it even if I don't engage you and just move my Terminators a lot. Fair. Yeah. Okie doke. The only time I've ever done it, I rolled snake eyes, though, so it doesn't bode well. <laughs> snake eyes. You still get the movement, though, right? Oh, yeah, I'll move. Yeah. I don't have to engage you to move. All right, so from mm -hmm. the corner, out over here. Looks like. Coming in hot. Throw your screens away, Siegs. Do it. Do it. You want it? I'm going to string them back. That's the other squad. Apologies. No, you're all good. Still the other squad somehow. Mm -hmm. That's the purple model. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I just want to be within 12, because I can shoot him from here, correct? He's not yeah. bodyguarded or anything? Uh, well, he's within three of the flamers, but I don't I'm think closer. he's... closer. Yeah, I think you're closer. So okay. that will certainly work. I want to put them within half range. And then these guys will keep the screen back here, mm -hmm. so nice and safe. Okay. These guys are probably going to advance that way. Let's see what they end up getting. A one. Nice. So 13 inches. 13. Zip so zone. 13 will get them over here. Or I can just put them into here. I'll probably just put them into here for the next turn. Flim, flam, flammy jams. And I'm going to put a strike squad and do my retrieve enactment over here. OK, for that corner. Yep. And that'll hold the screen. Exactly. Good stationing. OK. Not really concerned about you charging from there. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so you're going to be in deny range this time, regardless of what I do. That is true. So I can send him out and mortal you if I want to. Because I'm going to try and shoot in the psychic phase and then string them back. Mm -hmm. And then um, I can mortal either that way or this way. This way is pretty wrapped up, honestly. Yeah. Because I only need to tag the flamers. I don't have to uh, actually kill them. True. Because I'm going to shoot my shots that way anyway, and 
if I make the charge, which I should, <laughs> then I tag and I surround all this stuff over here. Mm -hmm. So in terms of mortals, um, realistically, what's your scariest combat threat um, for my Libby who can teleport? The only combat threat I have is my Terminators. Okay, and they're AP3? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many, three attacks each? Three attacks each. All right, and can, there's no way to advance and charge with Thousand Suns, correct? No, but I can, uh, I believe I can warp time and charge in this army. I, think uh, that's I don't think so. I, I can double check. Double check for that. Because mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put the Libby out and try and mortal these guys away then. Yep. Or I tag them with the interceptors and just be safe with the Libby. Probably that. Okay. I don't know how long this code, this codex is written. <laughs> that's really what I'm checking with this warp time. Okay. I'll just make sure. Mm -hmm. Three. Drago. Oh yeah, I can warp time. I can charge right after. I'm done. It just says make a normal move. That extra line that currently exists in the newer codexes. I played safe with them anyway. I'm just within range to if I extend it and go for the the full thing against you. Okay. Okay. Just hiding these guys. Get that screen going. Mm -hmm. And then the apothecary will come up. Apothecary man. Right. Yep. Okie doke. So, strike squad coming in. Hot. Hot fire. Hot fwee fwee seeks. And they're going to do that same screening area. Basic screening. Just make sure the full flamer squad, because you have one flamer squad, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then when I charge with the paladins, I'll finish off the screen over there. This is screened. Yep. Okay. It's all good. That's your screen's going. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead. So, that'll be the my half hour retrieve Knackman done. Yep. Get you that four. Yep. Okie doke. Let's go with Psychic. Those guys don't need to do anything, but they can cast... Um, what is the... I don't know. remember the category of this spell that they can cast. What is it? Uh, hammer Hand. It's probably Blessing. I think it is, but I, I want to actually double check that. Blessings help people. Yep. Sorry. Passed Very it. good. Okay. It's not something that typically matters. Typically, yeah, the category is irrelevant. You're just like, <laughs> that's a thing that's in this. Where are the psychic powers? Mm. I think I passed them. Psychic. There we go. Okay. We got hammer hand is a blessing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. So they'll go ahead and uh, cast. Right. Goes off on a 10. I have so many denies. Yeah, just go ahead and roll them. Yeah, I'll just roll. Fine. Ended up not having one for okay. that. Okay, so yeah. you're down to two on the blessing track. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, purifying goes off. You got on this one on a seven. Yep. Um, these guys will try to block that. Okay. On a ten blocks that. Okay. Then we've got. Uh, let's do the command point power. Which would fail on a perils. So I'll take one. one. Not obviously worth. You have a five up against it. Oh, yeah. five up. Yep. yep. So that's the apothecary. Yeah. Nice. He has that power. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. We've got uh, armored resilience over here. Should it fail? Fails on a five. Yep. Not worth rerolling. Okay. Uh, or is it? Or is it? Remember, I have one CP, three D six deny. Yeah. I mean, if you if you spend it, it's. Am I going to spend my my Libby, or am I going to just? Accept that. I think I just tag everything that's relevant over here, and it's yeah, not a huge there. deal. Because you don't need more cover, right? No. Yeah, so it's still mm -hmm. going to take two ups. Okie doke. Um, that fails. We've got those guys over there. Yep. Um, we'll do smite. Yep. Goes off on an eight. This is the interceptors? Yep. I will try with. You have a thousand different yeah, sounds just something. Goes off. Okay. Two. Take two. Yeah, I'm casting that way. Yep. I wasn't clear, but no, that is. <laughs> no <laughs> question make sure that mind. <laughs> he dies. All right, so those units are done. Uh, this unit will go ahead, hammer hand. It's increased by one, but it still goes off. Okay, uh, let's see if they yeah. have it. Your they rubric's sure over there. Do, so they'll do it. Yep, I rolled a seven. Nope, so you got one more blessing. Yep, so I should be able to, no problem. Run low on psychers. Those guys will cast passes. What do they do? It's another blessing power. Not ethereal castigation. Yeah, I'm not going to use it, but um, you, you have. He'll attempt it. He's yep. got two. Uh, goes, goes off. off. Yep. So 
it blocks so the blessings. Blocks the blessings. Now it comes down to blocking witch fires, which got plenty. But I'm going to uh, cast with Drago first. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't need any more blessings, and he has the blessings. Malediction doesn't matter because I only have one. So let's cast with these guys. They're going to go for the cleansing flame. Uh, the real. Purifying? No, purifying. Drago's going to actually do purifying first because okay. I don't need any of his spells this turn. It goes off on an eight. You can deny it. Um, Shaman's, Shaman's going to do it. Unless you want to save his. No, he's good. Okay. Shaman, you'll get it through. So okay. it's one point on cleansing, okay. purifying. Those guys? Yeah. On a five? Yeah. I'll just try to block it. Six and stop it. Okie doke. Uh, and then we will go with... Just the Libby? Libby man can do it. Mm -hmm. Or it can do his powers. Do his powers so yeah. I do... He's just mortal wounds, right? Yeah. I'm going to extend range and do 3d6 and try and just kill this dude. Okay. So 3d6 and extend range for 2 CP? Yep. Okay. Good. No, I don't do anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll do Vortex first. Goes off on a 9. Okay. That's 2d3 mortals. Yep. Plus 1. I can double 3d6 deny you, and then Purifying Flame is 15-inch range? Yep. So that shouldn't have it. It's just within 15. Uh, do you want oh, to come yeah, closer? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, no problem. So you have to be right up here, which cool. will be out of cover if that matters to you. He's going to teleport if you shoot him. Oh, he's that guy. Okay. Um, I don't want you to... Your, your strikes, I'm thinking if you kill my guy, your interceptors will just shoot something and be there. They could charge that guy. If they charge flamers, they're going to die to overwatch. Or, you know, potentially die to overwatch, I should say. Uh, I'll try to just regular do I have so many CP. Should I 3d6 it? I'm just going to try. Nine, you got it. Yep. All right. Okay. 2d3. Kills him. He's dead, and everything within three takes a mortal, which I believe is just That's the flamers. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, two left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, it was uh, four four mortals. Four mortals. I think he's four wounds. It's four, so if he's still alive, I have to hit him with the next one. I'll check. Thing. I'll check for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. you can it's it's not the bleed over. That's the pure. I did purifying flame first. No problem. Um, but if he's five wounds, I'll just go ahead and cast my next one, because yep. it'll have to hit him. Uh, it will fail. It will fail. He is... Sangor Shaman, where are you? He's four wounds. He's dead. Okay. The next power fail. Cool. But didn't matter. I got enough witch fires that this is gone. Yep. You got the one witch fire. I got one witch fire. Sad. Yep. Well, that would be the reason to try to stop it. Oh, well. Okie doke. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that is all the casts that are relevant. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and shoot you. So the Paladins are going to shoot everything at those flamer. Oh, let's start with these guys. Okay. So I got two in rapid fire, looks like. I think only two. Yeah. Wait. Flamers get and shot. It's two, right? Flamers two, yes. Okay. These guys have Chapter two Master. Mm-hmm. A lot of bolters. A lot of bolt action coming. It's two miss. And fours. Fours. No rerolls on this. That's just going to be five. Just five saves. Five saves. Easy sauce. Kills the flamer, shifts the wound. There is no wound. It just kills the flamer. The vortex did a wound, no? No, no. I, I casted purifying flame first. That's why. I, oh. Yeah, you don't have the wound on there. Thanks. It just kills the flamer. Because when I cast purifying, I was opening up the gap where I could then hit them with vortex. Oh, nice. Clever, and do clever. 2d3. But gotcha. That's why it was only four. Um, I appreciate it. Yep. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. Uh, yes, Drago sir. will shoot there. No, he, he did an action. Sorry. He did action, yeah. He did the psychic action, which... He I'm, can still shoot. He can still shoot when you do a psychic action? Oh, I don't know, actually. Let's see if it actually matters. It would be one, one save, which probably won't matter. Yeah. We'll check on that. Yeah. Okay. He'll be at one Let us know if you can, if Drake can shoot up doing psychic action. If anyone in chat has the answer easy and accessible, please. Usually it's, you're not shooting after anyway. I feel like I'm brain farting on this. Yeah, usually you don't shoot after. Uh, those guys over there are going to shoot everything into those flamers. I think you definitely can. I feel like I was doing that with Dread Knights back in the day. Okay. Unless it changed. Anyways. So you've got... Only four. four that, that guy is not in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, so one, two, three, four, and five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, you can shoot up the action. So Draco did a wound. 
Thank you, two chat. Damage. Two damage. Two damage wound. Sure. Yep. Nice on the wound rolls there. So these are all one damage. Threes. Kills nice two more. Nice on the more. saves. Kill two more. Okay. Well, add three ups on these. <laughs> the entire paladin squad is going that way. Yep. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. I'll just do the side cannons first. Yep. Uh, I moved, so those miss. Mm -hmm. I'm not spending the strat, so wounding on threes because it's only strength seven. Yep. It's five three ups. Yep. It's real well here. Survive these paladins. Two damage. Yep. Okay, down to one. And then. Um, I only have uh, three storm bolters left, I believe. I lost three guys. Uh, yes. Yes, three storm bolters. Two, three. Okay. And three sin, four swarms. Four swarms. Not bad. Green Knight Terminators. Three up saves. Come on, planners. Does kill the last. Three up and two to the next. Uh, ideal. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. we've got just charges, I believe. Just charges. Yep. I think I did all of my stuff. So, charging. Uh, he's gonna try. They're gonna charge into okay. the caster. Got an Overwatch. Yep. Makes it. We'll do. Mm -hmm. It's a bit unfortunate. Okay. And I'm gonna position myself such that I can uh, consolidate into these guys. Into those rubrics. Sure. Yeah. Totally makes sense, as some would say. <laughs> <laughs> Who would say that? Who would say that? Uh, and then it's a four-inch charge as well into both of these. Mm -hmm. um, if I fail it, I'm going to be sad. Um, I think it's probably better to just charge the blue bricks and just tag them. Yeah. Honestly. Okay. Guaranteed. It's guaranteed, and mm -hmm. I should be able to no problem kill all of them. So. Okay. Right. Would have made both of them. For sure. But not worth the risk. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Okay, let it go around this way. And we'll just leave ourselves within four. Okay. Okay. So that if I do kill them, they're gone. Yep. Um, so who's gonna go? Oh, is that the only charges? Uh, they'll charge the flamer. I'll do the Overwatch. Or I guess I'm not even in range, right? You actually? Uh, you know, you're you're still in range. Um, you're not in cover. I'll do the Overwatch. It's irrelevant. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Okay. Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter. All right. There's nothing else I can charge, right? No, I mean, you can there's nothing behind that. Nothing room. behind the room. Okay. No. If there was rubrics, then I would go for it, but there's not, so. Mm -hmm. These guys okay. keep getting bumped. Just over here, over there. Yep. Uh, I'm going to start over here because I don't think you're going to interrupt on that. I'll interrupt with the chariot. I got screamers <laughs> on there, Seeks. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Uh, so here we go. Mm -hmm. We've got the Paladin uh, Paragon, and then one, two, three, mm -hmm. four. Five, six, seven guys. Yep. Twos and threes. Sixes are mortals in addition. Sounds Twos. Good. Doesn't actually sound good, but what are you going to do? Threes, sixes are mortals. <sighs> These are all swords? Yep. Okay. So you're going to take five mortals okay. in addition to normal. So. This is seven models? Wow. Yep. These guys hit. Those are, you'll make the saves on those as well. Oh, I'm dead. You're dead. Okay. And okay. I'm going to consolidate into your flamers like we talked about. Yep. Boop. Just barely getting there. Boop. Boop. Cool. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yep. Something like that's good. Yep. And no one's wounded in there, so you're all good. That was your. I'm oh. gonna do it. I'm gonna spend the interrupt seeks. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. No, you're fine. Um, do I want to spend plus one? To, I'm at three. I'm gonna spend plus one to wound on it as well. If you're doing it, you do go big. I mean, go big, baby. None of this is really worth it, but no, we're just gonna just gonna do it. Oh, we got four hits. That's good. T four. Threes. Plus one wound wouldn't have mattered. Two wounds. AP three. AP three. Kills one, and I got my stiff, my staff, or my stiff, stiff. Man. my stiff. <laughs> no, no. Okay, well we killed one. Uh, just the back guys get pulled. Thank you. Got the back guy. One, got him good. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Threes. Oh, he's whipping. Toughness six. Okay. There we go. It's one, two mortals. Two, two mortals. Six. And you gotta make both invulns. Six one's up. A four up. Oh, maybe it's a six. Wait, you have a four then? I don't think. I don't know. Oh, if you have a four then. Not a one-up. Um, I'm going to see what my anvil is and just see. 
I need just to roll let's here. say it's a four up. Just reroll it, and then we can. Yeah, I would reroll if it's a four for sure. Yep. Um, so here you go. If it's four up, I'm I'm checking. I got okay. the book here. We got the book. Now we know. Now we know. Fate skimmer. It's a four up. I would have started there. It's a five up. Okay. Three up, five up. Uh, I'm not gonna reroll it for a five, but I want to know. You yeah. would have died anyway. Do you want to just take yourself down a CP anyway? No. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I rolled a three though. You see that? A four would have failed also. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right, so then you're going to engage me over there. Yeah. I'll activate my flamers. Since they don't really matter. They're just going to bop, bop, bop. Schmock, schmock, schmock. Five. Three, three attacks each, Teagues. Nine, 12. Plus one for the Pyrocaster. You ever seen the Pyrocaster before? Fours to I hit. have seen the Pyrocaster before. And fours to wound. Oh, strength five, strength user. Yeah, look at that. Flamers. Strength five? They're just strength five. gun is strength five. Take a wound. One wound, flamers! Doesn't really matter where I put it. No. That's a two, right? Yeah. Two. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Now you're good. And then over on the other combat. Um, we've got four. Uh, yeah, four rubrics. Yeah, you got four guys. One guy died. <laughs> <laughs> we got six regular dudes. Four hits. And then four is to wound. Three armor. Takes a damage. And a staff man. One hit. One wound AP1. So three up. Cool. Okay. <laughs> All right, one guy is wounded over there. For sure. All right. So morale on the flamer man. Morale on the flamer man. He's no, like, oh, flamer man. Firecaster. Oh. You fool. You fool. It's not a fool. <laughs> that was mean seeks. You have one command point. I go up to four. You'll get your bonus again. That's and I'm nice. just tr I'm just trying to block the spot where you could potentially fall back onto. Yep. Yeah. No, you got it. Uh, you want to go up to the score as so we go into turn three. Yep. Uh, I only get the one category for my Wrath of Magnus. Yeah, only one point there. That was, that was nice. The denies com comboed. Yeah. I got two banners. Um, I think in this turn we're going to go for plus one strength on our guns for sure, which goes off. And now we have to bring our flamers in. Let's see where they can go. You're at four CP? Uh -huh. okay, I can bring in more flamers here and just let them flame. I can bring in flamers over there and let them flame. Need to let the flamers flame, you know? Let the flamers flame? Uh, the Terminator's the real question. Do I try to go down here and slam these guys as much as possible? You have two in cover? What's that? Two Terminators in cover here? Yes, sir. That's a, that's a number I can mess with. Um, if they move five this way, they could easily charge here. The Paladins have side cannons for guns, and then uh, they have uh, swords. If you want to check out the description below, then the, the full list is in there. If they go for a, a temporal surge, they can clear this side and then start seeing into the Grey Knight Castle. So that would be a bit more of a leaving this problem alone situation. I can bring in flamers here and just erase them just as easily as they showed up. These guys back off a little bit. And then the strikes have a far-ish charge to them. I like that. And then that's a bit of a dance that we have to play. Terminators can auto-teleport. Where would they go if they auto-teleported? Probably nine away right here. Defend the home front. Shoot into Terminators. Collapse this side. Nine away here. Nine away here. Mm -hmm. So a bunch of Terminators just going right here. Those rubrics go back. Have range for days. Try to hit a nine. These guys have to go. These guys have got to go. Um, the best answer for them is Soul Reapers, Smites. Yeah, just some psychic. Psychic shenanigans. You can get the characters in range. Um, I think that's the plan. Just put a lot of Terminators over here. We can go nine through. Okay. Sacrifice a couple bolters shooting, but then have more 
Obsec on multiple objectives. How many Cabal points do I have? You killed a Rubric unit and you killed my Shaman, so I'm down to 17. Yep. Mm, that is a manageable number. I'll put the number out for you. So we got to 12. 17. Mm -hmm. Let's put these guys here. Mm -hmm. And that's just a five man Rubric spawn? Yeah. Okay. Do they want to start pushing forward? Mm, forward's a little dangerous. Uh, who's going to screen? This is where I wish I had my shaman. They can get teleported away, but if they get teleported, I have uh, my terminators aren't getting teleported. Hmm. Hmm. They can come forward and try to get warp timed. A lot of denies. Yep. I have a lot of denies, and they're all over denies. the place now. No, I need their guaranteed firepower here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And so five rubrics over there. And do remember, I have the one more strike squad and uh, the Libby man. Yeah. All in reserve. Yeah, a lot of problems on my doorstep, unfortunately. So Terminators aren't going to be here, so let's just move them out of the way. Five. Yeah. Um, we're going to auto pass it from outside your deny range, which is all the way back here. Very dual for these guys. Um, You're going to auto pass what? Uh, the teleport. So just spent Cabal points on it? Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. do you want me to just take you down the Cabal points now? Uh, not yet. I'm just trying to like, right. It'll be like the first thing I do. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> um. That way you can play on your turn effectively, which mm -hmm. is a big part of Psychic Armies. Over here, he's going to advance two. 14 inches, which I think is good enough to go right here. I'll just cast some powers and Who's show. that guy? This is the Exalted Sorcerer. Okay. Bring Flamers in over here. This guy's an interesting screen. Because my Terminator's going to go here. My Flamers are going to go here. You have the Libby Man. I hate the Libby Man. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you, you hate the Libby Man? <laughs> Let's these guys. Don't hate the Libby Man. Falling back. Falling back. You know no heroics here? No. Okay. No heroics. Basic move block, screening, nothing too fancy. Mm -hmm. And that will keep the Libby man out from mm -hmm. the side. I'm going to leave this on the back guy out there because I, wanna, I, I yeah. don't want to put on the sergeant. Totally yeah. makes sense, as some would say. I assumed you weren't going to fall back. That shouldn't change. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> well, you can stay in combat with me and be happily allow it. Um. Maybe they want to go more this way, so I could extend range and warp time. It's mm -hmm. worth a shot. So they're more like this. And the end guy is the wounded one? End guy is the wounded one. Okay. Okay. These guys. We're going to bring the Soul Reaper out and down. Um, What's the range on? 30, so it doesn't have range at yeah. the moment. Doesn't have sight to anything. If it goes forward, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least they were screaming. <laughs> Let's see what Chad has to say. Do, 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 do. Sound the horn of Helm Hammerhand. Heck yeah. I love Hammerhands. Gotta be out of deny range with our caster. Easy enough. Uh, inside 12 for when he actually cast duplicity. Easy It'd be kind of cool if they, for Grey Knights, they. Uh, Made it so that they could pick different effects on their spell to make them stand out from other Psyker armies. Like Hammerhand could be reroll wounds or it could hold plus one to wound and you do pick. That way you can have uh, more flexibility in certain situations, which is what Grey Knights are all about. These guys are going to advance. Um, they want to be pretty hard to charge. They want to be as hard to charge as is reasonable. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four. Did you want to move um, the Infernal Master? He's going to go right there as well. Okay. So I'm in a point where I have six miles on the objective counting him, and screens on screens. Screens on screens on screens. Okay. Um, then the last unit of Flamers has got to show up. Yep, I'll go grab him for you. I got him, no worries. Thank you. Going central. They got to go clear these hombres out. Do-do. Uh, just could you give me 12 inches to that guy? 
Yeah, you're usually within the... Yeah. But if you want to be farther back, 12 is right there. 12 is right there. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let me up a little bit. Okay. Oh, and Armon. Armon's pretty chill. Everything's pretty chill. Just remember to make sure there's no Libby size holes. Yeah. No, no Libby size holes. Uh, um, he may actually come up a little suicide. No. Do I need him? He's pretty important. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do some Cabal points <laughs> spending. The rubrics in the back are going to auto cast warp uh, teleport for eight. Make it undeniable. Make it undeniable. Uh, no, auto cast it, it's, and it's too far away to be denied. From those guys? Yep, it's the back guy in the corner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're good. Yep, totally so, good. So it goes off. We're not rolling dice on that. And we go into our spot. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So this is a full 10 man coming out? Full 10 man coming out to play. Okay. All Put the boys to the yard, Siegs. Putting some guys on the other side so you have more shots into the, the Marines. As needed. Yep. Where are sure. the special weapons? Uh, all right here. All right there. Okay. Just make sure I'm doing it legally. It's good. It's good. It's good. And the last one, I'll go here as well. Okay. And what type of spell is that? Uh, that is a blessing. Blessing. So one on the green track so far. Thank you. Okay, back to the psychic phase. Over here, they can deny anybody else, really. They can deny these yep. guys. He cannot deny. They cannot deny. So... Two denies here, and this, this unit can die pretty much my whole army, so they're a good one. First guy is going to cast... Do I want to heal anybody? There's no one to heal. Hold off on him. Uh, let's see. I got Doombolt. The other Doombolt just fell back, so that's not useful. Mm -hmm. We will do Armon. He's going to go for some blessings. He'll do Presage on the Terminators. Okay. Let's pass on 10. Uh, you have you said the is that a deny? Uh, you, no, this one isn't a deny. You have one or two. What does this one do? Plus one to hit. This one to hit? Go ahead. Okay. He's going to do plus one invulnerable save, which will pass on a nine. He will put it on to, uh, I think, these rubrics right here. And he will do minus one to hit. So which, uh, which type of spells are these? Oh, uh, those are two blessings. So two more. And he will do minus one to hit on those rubrics, which will pass on the seven. And again, you have denies on all that if you want. Oh, I do have denies on yeah, that. Yeah, you have the two denies that are in the middle of my army. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so it was nine, nine, and seven. What other powers do you have? Uh, I'm going to wait for the Witchfire, I think. The Witchfires? Okay, so another blessing goes off. Okay. Um, so Armand's done. This guy's. I, I put you up for. Yep. yep. So, yep, you should be up four. Yeah. It's, he passed three of them, and then you passed the uh, the teleport. Mm -hmm. The Terminators are going to go for a smite on those interceptors that are wounded. Okay. Uh, pass on a seven. First deny. Goes off. Nope. Plus one. Yep. I rolled this. I'm plus one to cast. Oh, you're plus one to cast. Okay. So two mortals. Five ups. Takes a damage. Kills that guy. Yep. There you go. Uh, that's not. You wouldn't pull your sergeant. It's fine. The oh, rubrics right Whoops. there will cast. Uh, man, I'm only down to one malediction. So if you cast it, yep. Yeah. If Draco casts his power, I deny it. Um, we'll come back. To, well, we'll do uh, Twist of Fate. Twist of Fate passes on an eight. That's and what does this do? Ignore invulnerable saves, and it uh, okay. is a malediction. So it goes off. I'll put it onto that unit there. The 3D6 guy has got warp time, which I don't really need. I can extend the range for warp time, so I'll do that for five Cabal points. And he's going to try to warp time these guys. Yep. Which will pass on an 11. Okay. So they're going to move. Not quite to the objective. Yeah, they can't touch it, but, uh, but they're going to screen. How many other powers do you have? When, when should I start? Um, 
you you should probably start. I'm about to start witch firing you. So no. okay. How many Some more time. powers do you have left? He's gonna cast two. Um, so he's got two more. And he's then. got two more, and then I got the guys over here. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm gonna just because I have a couple extra ones. Sure, I assume. Try to Where's that character? He is back there. So okay. So I would only have this, one, two, this. three. Yeah. I don't know if you know if the paladins can do it. It's hard to tell. Cannot. Okay. Yeah. So I still have the two. So the two. I'll so, keep yeah. waiting. I'll do firestorm at the strikes right in yep. front of me. And the interceptor is right in front of me. Goes off on a nine. That'll be, won't be a big one. Denied. Denied anyway. Smite. Smite goes off on a seven. Okay. Denied. Denied. Okay. So he's done. Um, the rubrics here are going to cast plus one command point for my last cabal points, which will get it on a 12. No perils. Okay. Uh, you could try. You might as well. I'm running out of We're, powers. Yeah. If I roll box cars. You were damn close. Uh, so up to five CP. And that's a blessing? That's an action. Okay. So nothing changes. You haven't casted. I okay. cast a malediction, and you blocked every witch fire. Yeah, this is malediction. Oh, okay. And this is your CP. Okay. Take the yeah. yeah. Take that blue one. And then we've got the infernal master who can cast another blessing, or swap a power. I've got past the point of swapping a power at the start, so he'll just cast um, temporal manipulation to heal somebody. Which passes on eight. You might as well try. Nope, nope. Okay, up to five blessings. Okay, into the shooting phase. Okay. We're gonna start off with the five flamers, all in on the strike squad. Uh, 12, 17, 23, 38. Okay, I do have a six of Fiona Pain this time, but okay. I don't think that's gonna be enough. <laughs> 19, this twice. <laughs> Threes. Uh. No, I think they're toasty roasted. Uh, all that. <laughs> uh, I'm doing it again. Yeah, I'll just take all the misses and re roll the six up, Fiona no Pains. Mm -hmm. so I fail. Two, four, six. Six, okay. okay. Two guys are left. And we'll do it again. Threes. And yep. all that's four ups. Same exact six. thing. Yep. Okay. I could survive. That's a spirit. Could survive. He doesn't. Oh, <laughs> Flamers too broken. Things off my too opinion. broken. Flamers are nothing. <laughs> Those flamers can't shoot. Uh, over here, I've got the five rubrics that were right there. Yep. Um, nobody's wounded. You have three models left, so I'll start with the Soul Reaper. Yep. Uh, Rerolling once for my sorcerer. It's five hits. AP three. Strain six. Three wounds. AP three. Put you on fours. Fails one. And then bolters and a bolt pistol. How much damage? Uh, flame pistol. Uh, just one. Okay. So one damage for me so far. Flame pistol has four shots, wounding on fives, three AP twos. Okay. So I have models in cover. I still fail two. Yep. So three wounds to your unit. Three and the regular bolters, we roll on ones, five hits, and two armor saves, AP two. Okay. Good. Kill that other guy. No, I have, I have models in code. AP2. Oh, AP2, AP2 sorry. Bolters. A yep. Inferno Bolters. Yep, yep, you're good. So two guys down. That's that sequence. If you want to just grab them. Yep, I'll go grab them. Mm. How many are left there? One? Just the one guy right over here. Okay. Um, Terminators you are going to gonna shoot. I think Doesn't I'm going to pump a lot of CP into this. Just try to get some good damage going. He'll take twos for a while, not forever. Um... This model can't see anything. This model can see here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> seek, seek, seek. I will put three bolters, two bolters into this guy. Okay. Is he in cover? Yeah, he's in cover. He's Sorry, he's he so two bolters into that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six bolters into your terminators. One CP for a plus one shot on bolt weapons, and one C two CP for vets. So will bring me down to two. So here's um, two bolters into the one guy. Okay. Hitting on twos, we're on ones. Okay. And fours to wound. Threes oh, to no, wound. threes, because you got plus one strength. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm already plus one strength, so twos to wound. Yep. Plus one strength and plus yeah, one. Yeah, you're good. So all that's going to be AP2. So three ups. Cool. Champion doesn't care. Okay. Soul Reapers into Terminators. These need twos to hits. Three rolls. 
Yeah, they're not happy. Their thousand suns don't care. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, you, you should be all twos, right? Yeah. Strain six plus one of them is twos. Uh, one. All that's AP three. Okay. No armored resilience, so three ups in cover, four ups after. Yep. I'll just take it. So two go through. Two. Uh, so one guy's out. Oh, kill that oh, guy. Yeah, kills this guy. So okay. I have to take it on. Oh, actually, so well, let's put that separate because if it's going on the person shooting boulders first, if that's okay. I didn't realize who had the wound. From the Fair enough. I, I so you, you failed two saves. And that's I took that. two damage. I'll yeah. just leave that there. Okay. And we can. I was going to fail even if I was in cover. Yeah. So it was cool. No problem. And I passed regardless if right. I was in cover. All good. So here's the Hellfires to try to get the wounded guy. Yep, totally. Four I pulled hits. them already, so don't worry about that. Yeah, no worries. Um, three wounds. These are uh, three ups because you're in the open. So yep. Right. So five, so I fail one. So then this is the D3 damage on that. See if it kills him. It does kill him, so well, that's normal. Wounded guy dies, I've already taken two wounds from the other thing. Yep. Which can I place now? Now you place on, on a guy, you'd want to put it in cover. Yeah, okay. okay. One, two, three, four, five, six bolters into the terminators. Okay. One more. Twos are real ones, then twos. Yep. Twos again. Hey, we got a sweet super chat here from Ricky Chow. Thanks so much. This game looks like uh, that one Japanese anime I once saw. Jokes aside. Appreciate <laughs> Thanks so you, much. Ricky Chow. I don't know why the camera all of a sudden stopped focusing, but I'm going to go walk around to it. Okay. <laughs> I'll hit the other one. Look at that. Pretty bored. Let's see if I can get it to refocus. Mm -hmm. How many saves am I looking at here? Uh, quite a lot. I don't like that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 26. We got Tech Priest support killer here. Thanks so much for your support, Ricky Chow. Really appreciate you. So he's working on that landscape as we speak. 26 saves should kill the wounded Terminator and a new Terminator. And then that's only a four man. And that's manageable. We got buttons being pressed back here. Yep. Yeah, I just got to refresh the camera real quick. Yeah, you're all good. I'm a little disappointed that the one guy is still there on the interceptors. You love the one guy. Really don't love the one guy. Really don't. Okay. Um, it's refreshing. Should take about 30 seconds. But no problem. You want to take these saves? Yep. There it is. Should be all good again. Let's, let's try. No, it's frozen. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Looks good again on the screen. Very, very frozen. What? I'm sorry, everybody. <sighs> We'll be back to our normal carnage in just a moment. And oh, it's good. It's good now. Yep. Okay. Just took an extra second. We've got a casual 26 saves for you, Mr. Siegs. Okie doke. Do these four at a time until you have them less than four at a time. I'm assuming you want to take them in cover. Yeah. Okay. So he'll die. Yep. So three at a time. Three at a time. Yep. Put those up there. Mm-hmm. It's good. Do you want me to do slightly more than three? Sure, yeah. It's a little mm -hmm. unlikely that I roll three ones all together. It's unlikely that you're going to roll any ones this way. You're supposed to fail four of these. That's one another one. Okay, so he's down to two. Mm -hmm. He's down to one. Down to one. Nice. Oh, I would have loved to kill another one. Okay, I'll leave that to my shooting phase. You do have charges, though. Let's try to hit the YOLO nine, I think, with the oh, five paladins could mess my terminators up. I think I want to keep the distance between us. Let's have those rubric marines try to hit your one strike. That's uh, an interceptor. interceptor oh, that three. definitely fails. Let's see what the charge is. Kind yep. of CP that. Decide if you want to CP reroll. While you're doing that, Nick, I am going to say uh, thank you so much to Ebenezer Rodeo for joining us as a member uh, on YouTube. Thank you so much, as well as Mikkel Alstrom who joined as a War Room member. So getting full access to our whole suite of content uh, via YouTube. Thank you so much. Both of you are gonna be joining the Art of War Discord community. Um, and uh, all the instructions for that are under community. Uh, just check in there, search for Discord, and you'll see a whole post about it. Thank you. Thanks right, so much for joining us. We're gonna dump the commander point to go for that. 11 is good. What'd you need? I need the six. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. That's totally reasonable. I'm gonna go back yep. down over here. And that will engage this guy, hopefully kill him. He is um, unwounded. He's unwounded and unbowed. He's uh, standing against the, the not vile, like what's about to happen to him. vile chaos. So here are the regular punches from my sorcerer, Mr. Seeds. Three hits. 
Two wounds. D3 damage. Get him off my table. Death by combat. 2,000 suns. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think he was going to help me too much. <laughs> uh, nothing too exciting to do with that. Consolidate just exists yep. here. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for me, Siegs. I scored uh, five. Blessings and counting comes later. Uh, you'll get a eight this eight. turn. Yep. Is that Yami Morale? They lost three? Probably not. I don't think so. I believe they're leadership nine at least. Oh, but. it's worth that check. If my flamers were within range, they would have failed and be minus one combat Let's attrition. Let me get a paladin. Pretty sure they're one higher than terminators. Let me get a paladin. Let me get a paladin. Nine leadership on the Leadership nine on the paragon. Paragon. So who is the paragon? That guy. That guy with the demon head who's wounded. So close. Cool. Okay, so I'll go up to 2 CP, you go up to 2 CP, uh, I'll get those scores in for you. You got an 8, I got, I did not get the bonus again. You did not get it again. But I've killed a lot of units. Killed quite a few, but uh, I'm still trucking along. I've got the li Libby coming in, and I have 5 strikes coming in as well. Okie uh, doke. You're up to 1 CP, Seeks? 1 CP? You're getting 1 mm -hmm. command point? I'm going to 2. Going to 2, okay. Yep. Do, 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 Possibly do, 3 do. if I pass Divination. Do, 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 do. Which is very hard to do. So from the corner here, looks like you're at least 11 inches. This will be five inch charge with my strike marines. I mean, I'm going for that for sure. Oh, it's an 11. I thought it was much further. Oh well. Ow. Sometimes angles and line of sight and measuring get the better of you. It could be six. That's as far as I can move it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six inch charge. Six inch charge. Five. Okay, well, they're minus one hit at least. Perhaps that will save them. Okay. Then we've got interceptors over here. Mm -hmm. Can't really do anything uh, helpful. Not in range. Nick didn't go. Nick refuses to touch the center. Really do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you still have teleports. Mm hmm. Okay. So I'm going to keep every model in cover over here uh, just in case. And honestly, if I don't make the charge, I might as well string this unit back a bit. Yeah, I got some cover. A couple models in cover. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, we've got these guys over here, as well as the Terminators, who I can heal up if I want to. Um, there's now a Rubik's Squad in here as well. There's a Rubik's Squad on the corner, like right over here. Okay. So you can, you can do a nasty multi-assault, probably. Oh. You'll probably lose your Terminators in response after, but that might be okay. Yeah, I think if I kill this, yeah, well, that's a lot to kill. Tie it up. I mean, if I'm back in this corner, I don't know how much you actually want to deal with them. True, true. But I could also come back and heal a model and just do the minimum. Mm -hmm. um, You've got that bottom of turn. I need to start getting ahead of you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a good damage on the material, but I've lost some stuff too. Okay. So, mm -hmm. is it time for Teleport Man to just touch the center for me? Yep. Oh, what a jerk. Okay. <laughs> and he's going to have two denies at plus one. He sure is. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. so that's fine. We've got these guys over here. They're going to have to keep screening because they don't really need to do too much. Yep. i got my psychic powers that I want to pass. Uh, I don't need to really screen this anymore because if you come back here, I don't really care. Mm -hmm. With your Terminators or your Rubrics, you don't actually have to be on my half of the board. That's true. So I'm going to go ahead, and they're not going to shoot, so they might as well advance, but let me get out of the way first. Yep. So what do we got back here? We got just some, some interceptors. Interceptors. Nice. That way I can easily touch the center next turn or project threat for sure. towards you. Leave a little gap for this guy. Mm -hmm. who will probably be healing himself, although I might send the Terminators back this way and conjoin the two units. Conjoin? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Conjoinment. We've got these bad boys. Oh, they're going to advance, like I said. Yep. No problem. They don't actually get to do anything. Ten. Gets them in here. Oh, Sieg's running scared. That's what I like to see. Scared. Scared. That's going towards you. Scared. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well touch a couple models in cover. For sure. Coming for it. Mm -hmm. All right, leaving that gap for the apothecary, depending okay. on what I want to do with him. Um, nine 
with this guy. I'm gonna put a unit over here. Yep. Well, let me get to reserves first. Yeah. Um, probably put a unit there, and then the Libby might also touch there, honestly, too. Mm-hmm. So, and then what about these bad boys? So do I come back, heal them up, and return another model? Probably. It's the safer play. And that's what I'm gonna go for. The safer play? Siegs. Be aggressive. Be -E aggressive. Well, I'm gonna still charge you. Oh. Well, don't, don't be that aggressive. Oh, sorry. He has to be on the other side. Okay, you were like max coherency with all that. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be like that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Terminator time. Apothecary man. I'll just go over here. Mm -hmm. He won't touch the objective with that, unfortunately. Unfortunate for who? <laughs> <laughs> for me. <laughs> All right. And uh, Drago's just the last thing that needs to move. Mm -hmm. Into that corner. Into the corner, he says. Okay. Under the sea. So one of our CP will be spent uh, bringing a, a paladin back. Okay, so you're down to one. Yep, it'll just come over here. Nice. Uh, can you revive a guy if there's a wounded guy? Uh, I have to heal first. You have to heal then, first. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so heal. Just heals for one! All right. No reviving a guy here. That's sad. That's what we like to see. Well, still going to charge you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, bring my reserves in. Another librarian. Oh, and five strikes. Forgot about those five strikes. They're going to come in and be sneaky ninjas on my backfield. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to do retrieve Nephilim, honestly. Yeah, yeah that could work too. Mm -hmm. So you have to be basically. I think at 28, right? Within 16 inches of that board edge. Yeah. That's an easier way to do it. Yep, that is the easier way. So right over here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just coming in. Oh, I've got Siegs up to an 8. Really just like that. Okay. He muscled his way in. Cool. I'm a jerk. Yep, no problem. Get those out of there. I'm sure you'll need them in a second when you shoot. So you only have three side cannons then because the sergeant doesn't have one? Uh, yeah, I only have three now. Okay. I had to pull the one model who was uh, yep. on the outside. And then I could touch the edge of the objective with this guy, or I can put him safer. I'd rather just be able to cast over here. Okay. Rather just be at the edge. Nice and safe. Yeah, because I'm going to charge and I'll be within three of them anyway. For sure. You always get so defensive. Be a bottom of turn. There's so many points coming in if I don't do a lot right now. Okay. Um, I think that is all of my stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. How good is the Infernal Master in combat? Uh, not great. Four attacks, strength six, AP one, two, three damage. I think he's got a staff. Okay. Because I might not even go for that. I'll, I'll still go for it. It's kind of worth it. Okay. It's four primary to banner. Yep. It's a lot of points. It's pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. Um, George, psychic phase? Yep, psychic phase. I believe I put all my models down. Yep. I'm just considering I might actually mortal them. Could go for mortaling the flamers. Smithereens. Honestly, hitting this is way more valuable. You're strung out to everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Okie doke. Um, I think this guy's too close, actually. Is he too know. close? Yeah. Not too much to no, yeah, he he totally can't be on the No, no, he totally is. Yeah. I was looking at the eight instead of the nine. No problem. Mm. So if he wants to do anything then, he'd have to be back here. I'll just be back here. Right back there. Nice. I should be good here, right? For sure. Okay, doke. Or I could send him on the corner and hit that rubric squad. Yeah, you can go over here somewhere. There, maybe. Or over on the corner. The corner corner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Could do that. I'll make you charge further if he, he wants some stuff. Yep. Mm hmm I'm just going to put him back here and okay. use the Libby who can teleport. Yep. All right. Uh, let's go for psychic stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we've got our friendly paladins. They Well, let's do the plus one, plus one command point, which fails. Every so time. What a silly power. Worthless power. power. <laughs> <laughs> he just messed up healing a guy and then failed the cast. What a love out there. He failed the cast twice. Perils himself. We'll go with them. Um, fails. Fails that. So mm -hmm. Might want to spend a CP on that. That's plus one armor save? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Armored resilience. Yeah. No. No? No. Okay. I'm going to charge and then just get behind this crate. That'll make sense. He'll come and get me with the flamers, but um, mm -hmm. you'll have to come all the way over yep. to try and get me, and then I'll hit you with everything. For sure. So that's fine. Um, we've got the powers over here. 
goes off. That's the cleansing flame. Yep. I think I don't have a deny for this one. Because they're out. The Terminators are actually out. Yeah, you got that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll go with uh, casting blessings. Random blessing powers. Hammerhand over there. Perils. Uh, they're going to take two. two. Do you take it? Do I take it? Takes one. Take one. I'll give uh, you a deny. Yeah, you, I got it. Here. Okay. Uh, okay, you got the blessing off. Yep. Okie doke. And then we've got, uh, I need to get four more. You need to get four more blessings to stop that point and one malediction. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the one malediction is the important. Um, cast it over here. They cannot cast because they're doing the action. These guys mm -hmm. over here will cast a blessing. It goes off. That's the shoot and scoot one. Yep, I'll try to block it with... Hold the eight. Um... I will let you have that one. I'll save my blocks. Okay, so one more down on the blessing train. Yep. Okay, another blessing spell. Who's this? Them. The strikes. Goes off. Goes off on a six. This is their second hammer hand. They'll try to uh, stop it. It actually might be a six. Might be a six, then I'll fail. Yeah. yeah. Just see if you deny it. Um, well, I'm probably going to save it for Drago and Libby. Hammer hand. No, but it's a five, so it's it goes off. off. Okay, I will try with these rubrics. Stops it. I know it's a six also. No. So you got it. It's only two left. Okay. So that means I can actually uh, deny you, which is nice. So what's Drago doing? Or Drago and Libby, that's what you got. Yep, uh, so uh, Drago will go. Mm -hmm. And do a 3d6 cast with him to make sure I deny you the points? Or do I go for, how many denies do you have on Drago? On Drago, is it just the Terminators? Terminators and a little farther back. I think that's it, just Terminators. Okay, and they only have one deny? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, guaranteed, I already got no witch fire. It doesn't matter. Um, it'd just be value town onto them. Mm -hmm. Or I go ahead. I think I'm just going to cast normally on him. Okay. So, we'll do uh, his malediction spell. Which would fail. Is that a CP? CP for maybe a point? No. No? Okay. I don't think so. So, I'll get maledictions good then. Yep, and then blessing is the last one that can go off. Um, we'll do we'll do gate. Goes gate off. on an eleven. Gate away. You can three d six it. Yeah, you got it. I'm oh, okay. Gonna, you don't want to. You can do it. I don't know where you're going. I'm doing the paladins. Sure, honestly, oh, paladins gate. Yeah, because you're not touching that. Yep, that's fair. Uh, and I don't really need to. Uh, I think it's actually better just keep them safe, frankly. Okay. Because I'm going to get good primary bottom of the game. Bottom of the game. I just yeah. need to keep these guys alive. Right. Frankly. Mm -hmm. uh, he's sergeant's wounded. At two. Yep. Sergeant's at two. So nice defense gate. Yep. I'll just put him in here. Okay. Uh, they'll go up the second level. Honestly. Second level. So it's going to cost three to go down. Yeah. Sieg's ain't scared. He's like I'm going to regrow a guy for two That's inches. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. I see your tricks. Is there on the bottom of those two? Yep. Okay. Or I could gate the Libby back and just make sure I kill your rubrics. Mm -hmm. So if I'm here, like, what do you actually do about that? You can't gate to that spot. Oh, that's fair. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I don't care about the Libby. Yep. Or the apothecary. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'd rather keep the paladins alive. Okie doke. Sounds um, good. And we just have that guy now. Okay. Yep. So we'll cast on... We'll spend our CP. Yep. We'll just try and blow you up. So 3d6 in extra range. Yep. Uh, might Which as well do Vortex first. Vortex first on a 10. Yep. So this would be 2d3 to my Terminators and then 1 to my Flamers. No, I'm trying to get your Flamers closer. I don't know if unless that's doable. So it's like 11 Unless it has to be. If it has to be, it has to be. Yeah, I think it has to be. Okay. Ah, uh, 2d3 plus 1. Or is it just 2d3? What's that? 2d3 plus 1. Plus 1. Um, I'll try to 3d6 block. He's got one other spell, and that's, yeah. that's the end of the Psychic Face. And, he, yep. Yeah, I'll try to 3d6 block it. Okay. 2d6. It's going to be so five, five mortals. Um, and then everything within an, uh, three inches of the Terminators. So just the uh, so Flamers and Rubrics and, and the any Sorcerer. Any characters. Hit the red. Yep. So he's going to die. He'll take... I'll just go ahead and roll the next one, uh, which will go off, but you can deny it. Okay. Uh, would you do that? Okay. Okay. Send the flamers to take a mortal. 
Yep. Boop. Boop. Okay. Should be the end of that. Yep. Uh, we'll go ahead and um, attempt the charge into yep. the rubrics, which I think is the only thing left. Six makes it. Okay. So five and one. So he's doing it. Charging over there. Oh, charging there. Okay. Yeah. Six makes it. Ooh, yeah. Definitely within seven. Yeah, that's your closest cool. guy though. So I don't know how many will swing. Ooh. Probably three at least. What, nine inches? Yeah, I'll get the whole squad. Well, just this guy's going, because he's moving six. Yeah, I put them all in range that they could swing. Remember you strung back so that you were at cover? I just wanted the one guy in cover. I didn't realize I mean, there were two. Because you, you don't know what your charge roll is, right? Yeah, so yeah. if you roll for the charge, obviously. I'm just moving the model six yeah, inches. Yeah. Well, well, I think you. I think you're a little closer it's, than that. Yeah, it's closer than that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. So then you pile in three. Cool. Do you want to roll so we can mm -hmm. with the master? Uh, Do it. I shouldn't. I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, there was no other charges. They're doing the action. Yeah, the strikes are doing the action with the terminator way. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then so I hope those are bases clear. That one. This probably. one does, this one does not. Okay. He's not going to be within a half inch of anybody. Okay. Oop. Oh, sorry, I didn't move this guy the full distance. So four? Yep. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Minus one to hit for me. Yep. One, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. okay. Very nice. Minus one to hit takes those out. And then fours to wound, let's re roll to wound. No mortals. One more. Die. One more die. What's this 100% win rate, Siegs? <laughs> Five. Just need to kill any what amount. What the hell is that? Right. Squad dies. It's just garbage. Wrap that Infernal Master up. Get him wrapped. <laughs> yeah, okay. He will attack you. Yeah, he gets the deck. I'm engaging him. Take that banner down. He's got three hits. One wound. D3. Doesn't even kill him. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought it was two. You said it was flat two. I don't believe anything is flat two in this army. Really? It's all force weapons. Force weapons are just D3. Well, uh, the Grey Knight force weapons became flat. I mean, it's worth a shot. I think you should double check that because it doesn't matter because you'll kill the bad guy, but still. Okay. Well, we're I'll checking check later. I thought it was um, flat two. That is terrible. I'll get a four. You'll get two bonus primary. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that in. I'll go up to two CP. You go up to one CP. Yep. And then there's a whole oh, bunch of super chat things. I We're going to plus one strength those terminators. We got it. Yay, that's 24 inches. John Murray, thank hey, you so John much Murray. for the super chat. Uh, keep up the good work, lads. Orc player here. Main opponent is Death Guard and Guard. <laughs> a bone tree I'm working on Night Lords, but still ways off. Appreciate your super chat, John Murray. Keep up the good work. We will as well. Enjoy your orcs. Good luck with the Death Guard and the Guard. I don't think you're too boned. Orcs can yeah. definitely run over Death Guard. Their points are awesome. New Guard, though, that's something to be uh, go first and run them over a lot. Or, or you don't have to, because guard, guard and Orcs actually have relatively similar power in secondaries. And so potentially, at the bottom of the turn, you could play a defensive game um, if you build towards the three uh, Orc secondaries that Jack likes. So check out the games that Jack has played. Uh, what happened to Jack? He's not feeling a little well, but... Uh, you he, got he, Thousand Sons back. Emperor Nick over here, you know? But yeah, Jack's a little pop and nurgle blessed right now, so hopefully he'll be back soon. Okay, so we got some options. We can auto-pass a duplicity power. I can put 10 Terminators back here, kill out the Strikes, Interceptors. These Interceptors are giving Siegs an 8 currently, or a 4 actually. These have got to go, so he's probably going to have to get teleported. Or I Desperate Break him out, which is not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Um, the Terminators can auto-pass a warp time undeniable to move 10 inches. And then charge. I think that's worse than just shooting with the unit. Flamers got this. No problem. Rubric Marines can just keep on pressing. Could raise a banner even. Come on over here, shoot. Because if I kill Libby, um, Apothecary. You got to kill him in Psychic. Or charger. Or charger. Um, mm -hmm. So charging would look like just the Terminators do it. Terminators move 10, have an easy charge into these guys. And the Libby. Probably kill both, but then they'll die to Paladins. Not the best thing. These Flamers, what's their advance roll going to be? Let's let's do an advance roll. See what they're yep. doing. It's a 15. 15. They 
can get to here, which is not too enticing. Probably go over here and just flame this Terminator man. Or they go over here and erase these strikes from existence um, and reclaim the home front. I think that is what we do. So that should be good for that. Do, 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 do. Uh, how many Cabal points do I need to put out for you? Um, you didn't. You killed two more from yeah. the rubric, so I'll be at 15. 15. He has two ones left. Okay, so I think he would have to desperate break out in order for me to uh, leave there. It's both of my command points. And then auto pass is oh, easy. I, I forgot to put the turn counter up, sorry. I'm going to spend two for the desperate breakout. Okay. Just and don't roll a die. one. No, he didn't. Good job, buddy. Knew you had it in you. So I'll just fall back right there. Nice. How many CP are you at, Nick? I am at zero now. Was that two a second ago? Yep. That's fair. Do, 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 do. That sounds correct to me. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Do, 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 do. Um... So I think Terminators are going to get teleported. And then who's going to cast Warp Virtual? What turn is this? My turn four? Turn four. Mm -hmm. Let's advance these flamers. 16 inches. I think into the nook here. Well, they could raise the banner or the rubrics can. The rubrics can. Yep. They're going to flame almost yep. certainly. Yeah, they'll flame the strikes away. These guys will just move. Get some shots. Um, you know what? You got your hands full. I'm gonna be up top here. Okay, no problem. So I can see the paladin person if I want. Uh, it's the, a apothecary. Apothecary, yeah, yep. of course. Here, here the paladin ancient. I think the terminator. This guy's technically not a paladin. He's just a terminate. He's just in terminator armor. The Terminators teleport behind you. These guys. Raise a banner. Hmm. I don't know what these guys want to do. These guys, I think, will raise a banner on the central objective with a six inch move. Yeah, we'll do that. Boop, 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 boop. He's OPSEC right now. He's OPSEC. Yeah, he's, he's within range of the... Good to know. Um, Noble death. Very good to know. He is OPSEC, you say. He is, in fact, OPSEC. Noble death. Terminator is being that there. What does that accomplish? Turns you around, shoots you off for a four. Um, turns them around. <sighs> Don't love it. <laughs> so we buff him up and then send him in. Probably for the best. Armon here. No, Armon needs to be. Does this guy matter? Do I need warp time? I want. He can warp time himself out. Yeah, if you get another model on there, you can start the action. So he'll just do yep. that. So then okay. he'll start the action. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. All good. Did you put a token on here? No, they're not bandering. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you came this way. You're right. Yeah. So Armand will be out of... Oh, there's denies everywhere. There's denies literally everywhere. Literally um, everywhere. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm out of deny range. Get out of here. Armand will come back over here. Be out of denies of those people. Uh, he got the lippy right here. He's got the lippy. That's annoying. For sure. Um, okay. I think we are good on that. Let's go to the... Shooting phase, psychic phase. Okay. I guess we'll move the terminators in case everything goes awry. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'll just go over real quick. Yep. Terminators just coming on up. Mm hmm. What was the charge they needed from that point? Uh, looks like a five. Six. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right, 
So to pull my plan off, I have to get my smite number very high. That would let me autocast smite with terminators after teleporting them to heal a guy on a nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have to cast four smites. One, two, three, four. That's very easy. So what's the plan? Do you want to just explain? So my plan, plan is going to be to tell, well, I don't know if I'll be able to pull all of it off, but the plan is going to be to warp time the Terminators, make it undeniable from this man. And then the Terminators are going to end up over here. And then we're going to cast Smite so many times that Smite's minimum casting value becomes nine. And then we're going to auto pass Smite and its minimum casting value with our Terminators to uh, pass that Smite. Why that's relevant is because if you pass a power with a 9 or higher, which is what the Cabal Points will allow me to do, I can spend a CP that I don't have, so I need to also do that with, with Cabal Points, um, to resurrect a model. Not closer, though. Why not closer? It's in the core rules. It's in the core rules? Yep, when you, yeah. when you redeploy anything, it always has to be 9 away, and you and cannot heal closer. It's I in can't the, heal closer? I believe it's like 10 bullet points in oh. the, the core rulebook, but you can't make a closer charge. Well, and that's going to... Kabosh that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I asked. <laughs> okay, so yellow nines. So but you, but you could yellow nine me. Let's start off with, uh, in that case, I don't care about casting smite a bunch. There's like a, a single page that's dedicated to reserves and redeployed units, and it's like 10 bullet points. We'll have Armon lead off. He's going to go for Weaver onto the Terminators, which rerolls for free. We'll pass on the seven. You okay, have, I have uh, a thousand denies. Well, you don't have that many. It's you denied. can deny it. Okay. I think you just used your only librarian deny. Because Armand's all the way in the corner. Oh, on Armin? I thought yes. it was that guy. Nope. I'll let you know when those guys are doing it. Uh, is that in range? No. He's just not. Okay, well, what, what did he cast? So he's casting plus one invul onto my Terminators. Whatever, I'll just keep it. You'll keep it. No, he passed it. Okay, so he's done. He's, does he have any more denies? Uh, no. Okay, so he's done. Nice. All right, so then we've got Armand's other power, Presage, which will pass with plus one. Terminators are plus one to hit. Okay. And he will cast Glamour, which will fail, but all rerolls, which will pass. Uh, Terminators are going to be minus one to hit. Okay. Sounds so that's good to me. two different blessings. Okay. So now we're going to. So they have plus one to hit, minus one to plus hit. Plus one to hit, minus one to cool. hit. Cool. These guys will go for a humble Doom Bolt onto them, which will pass on an eight. So that's them casting. Okay. I have plenty of guys in range. Doesn't deny it. Go ahead. Okay. Flat three mortals here. Okay. Five of Fino Pain. Kill Kicks one, two. and that is a Witch Fire. Okay. Witch Fire is red. Witch Fire is red. Yep. Malediction is blue. Okay. Just to keep it consistent. Then we've got Terminators who are going to cast Teleport on themselves. Uh, I'm going to make that undeniable. Well, actually, I'm, I'm kind of. If I make it undeniable, I have to roll, I could fail the power. So let's try to gain a command point over here. So that's fair enough. Yep, yep. Four cabal points. Okay. Well, don't you just get one? I, what do you mean just get one? Don't you just get the command point? Oh, you have to roll. I have to cast the psychic action, which does pass on a three, because I'm plus one to cast. I take two damage on the perils. Okay. So that will give me a command point unless you want to stop it. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Denied. Okay, so no command point and two damage. Ouch. That was terrible. So that's them. Armand's done. Terminators and that guy haven't done. These guys are raising a banner so they can't cast, and they are done. So <laughs> let's do the Terminators. They're going to cast Teleport, which passes because plus one will make it undeniable. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Down okay. to three. Okay. Do, 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 do. Teleporting. Are there any models behind there? Oh, uh, there might be. Okay. Uh, yep. Short scratch. I'll double check. Thank you. So Terminator's coming in behind no. Siegs. Nope, we're good. Excellent. So do I think the was the wound on them? Yeah, the wound was Wounds on them. Yeah. There you go. Do 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 do. So we got sight for days down this way, some have sight there. Sure. Okay. Um Yellow nines. The sorcerer man there is going to use his last three cabal points, I think, to cast 
Zinch's Firestorm from himself using the line of sight of a different model. I'll use the line of sight of this model. Okay. Is this useful at all? Just roll it because I can deny it. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, he casts three, so he will go for smite on his second power, which will fail. Well, it's my first smite, right? Yeah, because I didn't go with my smite plan. No, so you didn't. They doom bolted. Oh, okay. That's nice. uh, denied. denied. And his last power, because he's Rahadi, will be warp time on 3d6. Which will pass on a six. Uh, okay, I have plenty of denies. Yep. Denied. Yep, so don't work time. That's sad. Okay. okay, then we'll go for the shooting phase. Yep. Start off with the five flamers here. Cool. Five flamers. 15, 21, plus 15 is 36. Mm -hmm. Threes. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25. 36. I'll fix that in a second. Thanks. Three. AP2. Yep. And it's all going to be four. Yep. Self four ups. To wrap your character. Stay in cover. Yep. One, two, four, six, eight. Exactly ten. Exactly ten. You have plenty of shooting outside of that. Yeah. Flamers flaming. Yep. Um, we'll start off with the. Rubrics here, rapid firing and shooting. Okay. So we've got one warp flame pistol. It's two shots. Fives. Nope. Three bolters. Mm -hmm. Four hits. AP2. Uh, three ones AP2. So four ups. Yep. Three four ups. I'm going to fail one of those, so guy is wounded. And the Soul Reaper cannon uh, is five hit, Four hits. Three AP3s. Okay, take kills that guy and bleeds a wound. Or is this bolted? It kills damage? him and just wins the next. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will put. Man, I really want to kill both, but I don't think it's real. Um, I'll put three flamers down that way and two flamers this way. Okay. Three that way. Uh, is eleven plus nine is twenty. Twelve, eighteen, twenty. Three. Right. This is into them. That's onto them. So four ups. Yep. This should actually kill them. Uh, it does. Okay. And then two into your paladin. Apothecary. Apothecary. Uh, 15 shots. Okay. Five, 10, 15. Strength five. Not the best. All that's going to be three ups. Yep. Yeah, he takes two up. Takes two. Fatal Takes one. Takes one. Down to three. Okay, um, over here I've got a random bolt pistol. Mm, hits on the guy. Wounds? On who? Uh, on your no, own. you don't want to do that because I teleport him. I don't really mind if you teleport him. You're going to kill me? No, I'll, I'll let him be there. I don't want yeah, to teleport you him. You actually don't want that. Yeah, it could be bad. <laughs> <laughs> so Terminators. I have no CP, just lots of lots of shots. Yeah, um, you got them all. Do I need them all to go there? I'm going to fix him? Yep. To give you a four, I do. Giving you a four is pretty important. Then I just have to hit a yellow nine, it would be awesome. We'll put them all into this unit and cover. Uh, the two yep. missiles, I'm gonna put into this apothecary. So okay. get them. These are the front guys? Those are the front guys. Okay. So here are the two missiles. Uh, with press four hits. Two to one strength eight, four wounds. That's the AP on this? AP two. AP two. And Fails two. Uh, this is D3 each? D3 each. All right, I'll go ahead and re-roll. What else could I use this on? Mm -hmm. I can't use transhuman because it's two CP. Uh, 2D3 would kill him for sure, so I'll just re-roll that. So, so take me down to CP. Out of CP, flat three. Six up, baby. Got him anyway. Nice. Love to see Pop it. Carry is just trash this game. What an embarrassment. Two, three, four, Seriously eight. wasted so many CP and he didn't get Five. me CP. What a pile of garbage. Six. Seven bolters into these guys. And then the two he seven. deserved to die. Threes, uh, twos, versus twos. And threes, because the plus one strength. Okay, here we go. All that, AP two. Okay. So back to threes. Yes, I'm gonna fail one, four, two, five. Two and a half, and then the two Soul Reapers. All right, twos, good hits. And threes. 
All that is four ups. So uh, four guys will die. Yep. Just sergeant's not alive. So the just leave the sergeant. Uh, there is no sergeant in the squad. Yes, there is. There is? Yep. Oh. I made it sure it was this back squad. Okay. Uh, just going off look there. I don't um, think I'm going to jam, but... Yeah. Okay. If there's a... there might, other squad might have two by accident. Okay. I'll just say, which model do you want it to be? I, it doesn't matter. They're all touching. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to make there's it... There's a sergeant right there is what I'm saying, but... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everyone's got a sergeant in green knights. Let's do some charges. No, but I made sure it was this squad, oh, so okay. I don't need to... Okay. Don't need that. They are over there. That was the squad that was back here. Let's do some charging. Um, we're going to try to hit this nine. Sure. I can be Siegs. I can't be Siegs today. All right. Today. That's going to be it for my turn. Morale's good. Morale's good. Siegs gets a four. I'll get two bonus. <sighs> okay. Well, I've at least very much damage Siegs on me. Um, you will get four on primary. Go to CP. Two, 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 two okay. bonus for me. So bottom of four here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, chapter master on the paladins, of course. Clear out the center area. Um, and they're, they were nine away from the guy who was here. Yep. So they need a long advance to even think about touching that. And it would only be with the, that many models. So what's their combat again? Uh, a lot of it, there are three attacks each, strength five, AP two, AP three, two damage. Two damage? Yep, okay. AP three, two damage. So I might send Drago in to just tank, just to have him have the end of the squad. Go have one CP as well. We'll go but then they would get movement off of it. Uh -huh. Or I could send in the Paladins. I don't think that's really worth it. Mm -hmm. I, think it's, I think it would be better to mortal these guys away and then make the charge into these bad boys. Mortal who away? These flamers. Don't mortal my flamers. Don't do what Siegs. Yeah, that's what probably you the most effective way. Mm -hmm. And just keep walking away from the Terminators. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cause can you, any tricks over here? No tricks. No tricks. No tricks. No tricks. No tricks for kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing I can do about this objective. I'm not going to focus on that one. So just need to uh, deny you control of these ones. Mm -hmm. And everybody's touching in this squad? Everybody's touching. Everybody's touching. Okay. Got that Overwatch life going. So the bottom guy can go that way. Mm -hmm. Can you just uh, put a die there? We'll see what the charge would be. Yeah. So five away from the inside of the ruin. Yep. Whoop, thank you. Uh, it's more than a, it's got to be more than 12. So you move five, you'd have to roll seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's this guy over here. Yep, the one from these guys is the same thing? Or is it? They, might, they look a little closer. Um, no, they're more than 12 as well. Okay, so same exact distance? Same, so yeah. It's a, uh, they move six, not five, so they're plus one functionally. Okay, so, so they, have to, they have to roll six. Six inch charge, yeah. yep. Okie doke. Mm -hmm. um, Doo -doo -doo. All right, so just needed to deny you primary, get some kills here. Or I could just try and blow these guys up and then come back to the center. Terminator time. Which is also possible. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think I am going to... Hmm. Oh, man. What's this charge? Less than 12? Less than 12. Okay. So you'd have to roll a 6 on Terminators to go backwards. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And then Drago would be a little closer. So if I get both of them in there, I should do quite a bit of damage to these Terminators and just basically pick them up. Right. Um, or I just make sure that I hit one of the charges onto here. Mm -hmm. That's 15 wounds in that squad? 15 wounds in that squad. And you have one deny, two deny, three deny, four deny. four denies. Four denies. Okay. Or does he have two denies? Uh, he probably has two. Okay. Well, Grey Knight Libby's don't have two. They have I'll check for you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Or I just pump all my mortals into these guys. Yes, sir. Got a lot of decisions here. There's some stuff would break down. Yep. My thought process using the Warner mod. What am I checking? The You're three. checking how many denies you have. Gotcha. The Exalted Sorcerer. Uh, 
guess what? He <laughs> denies one. He only denies one. He only denies one. Okay. That yeah, makes sense, honestly. Mm -hmm. So if they come up here, they have a really easy charge with Drago. They should be able to do decent damage. Yeah. And I can mortal them. But I really want to get into mortal stuff. It's getting saucy. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go this way. It's got to go for the charge. Yep. I think if I kill enough of your stuff here, I should have the nice spot on the turn. Yeah, you need to, you need to not be tables or close to it, which means you got to fight me a little bit. Yep. All right. Terminator's coming back. Five. Then you got six inch charge. Five man Terminator unit. Brutal. Mm -hmm. Missed the plus one invul, got the minus one to hit. Okay, we've got those guys to come out that way. Uh huh. Right, and Bitty Man. Bitty Man coming back. Oh, well, he doesn't actually need to go that far. He just needs to be within range of this guy. In range of nine. We got or it. I blow up your flamers. Or you blow up my flamers. It's not threat overload. We'll go that way. Mm hmm. Okay. These guys coming out to play? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they would. I'm trying to kill you. Sure would. Where's the next closest guy? Yeah, right up there. Mm -hmm. So I'm right at the corner. I can go that way. That guy's wounded. I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> don't go that way. Yep. So I'll go over here. Okay, just enjoy. Yep. Mm hmm. Cool. All right. Teleporty man. Teleporty man. It's coming in. Turn into battle. Okie doke. All right, to the psychic phase. And then this guy will just stay. Just tuck in. Yeah, I mean, he might as well get a smite on. Sure. Okay. Yep, can't do anything about that objective. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, do some charges. Or yep. uh, do some psychic, I mean. Yeah. So these guys, let's do the Libby. This Libby first? Yeah. We'll do the purifying flame, which goes off. On an eight. Yeah, I don't have plus one. He's in deny range of everybody, so there's yeah. four denies. He casts two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten powers. I can deny. Uh, these are denied easily, so that's three of them. So seven are denied between these three units. Uh, purifying flame is flat three mortals plus one. Yeah, you got it. So four immortals, yep. we'll kill the one guy, and then two more on the next closest. And I think your charge got a little further. Uh, I, not with the killing the first model. Oh, I believe no. it's still less than, no, no, it's, it's a, seven. a seven. Okay, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. fine. We'll go with uh, uh, his next power, which is um, smite. Peril smite. He takes three, you take five. Oh. He takes two. Oh, two, sorry, yeah. Yeah. five of female pains, he takes them both. Okay, I take five, we'll kill him. Two to the next. Um, this guy. Actually, what's the charge for each of those? Probably an eight now. Uh, he's an eight to him. He's a nine to this guy. I'll pull my sergeant. Okay. Um, oh, no, I'll wound my sergeant, rather. Yeah, you wound it. Wounded. He's not dead yet. Exactly. Okay. That's why if, if yeah. I do any more uh, mortals, yep. it'll kill them. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's an eight for their paladins to him. Totally. Mm -hmm. All good. He'll go over here. Yep. I've already. This is the Libby. Yeah, you already lost that. And for the what did you? I just oh, cast purifying yeah, flame. Yeah. That alone did it. Yep. Okay. And then you didn't cast that. That's your. CP. Oh, that's my CP. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. You confusing me with the blues. Oh. And then <laughs> I have not cast a blessing just yet. Okay. No. Nope. So we've got. He'll do the action over here. Good. Goes on eight. I will try to block it with the terminators. Goes off. Okay. Okay. So you got one point on cleansing flame. Yep. Purifying flame. They'll do it. Goes Six. off. I will try to block it. Um, Sound good. Good. Okay. Denied. Denied it. Yeah. 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 And then we've got their power. They will go ahead and cast armored resilience, which does not go off. Mm -hmm. Drago. Drago. He has. Um, Sanctuary, which is irrelevant. Uh, gate, 
which don't really need gate, honestly. Yeah, you're kind of where you want to be. But I need to cast uh, the blessings, so let's actually do them. Hammer hand goes off. Let's try to stop that. Stopped it. Okay. And then we've got this Libby over here. He'll cast his Vortex of Doom. Yep. Which will fail. Fail. And then he has one more cast, which will be a snipe. Which does go off. It's my second smite. Try to stop it. Goes off. You're going to take three. Three. Ouch. Okay. Wow. So now I just have a Drago left, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he would need to cast both his blessings to deny you that point. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go ahead and cast. So unfortunately, they, these don't matter. So he's got to cast gate and then yep. gate somebody somewhere pointless. Okay. It'll fail? No, sanctuary. Oh, sanctuary. Okay. Uh, which is going to go on those guys up there. Okay. I'll try to block it with this little yep. man. I rolled a six. Just goes off. Okay. So. You're down to one. one, so if I cast gate here, yep. you uh, lose the point. Fails on a six. Fails on a six. Could spend my reroll, but it's not worth one yeah, point. Yeah, you reroll, then I get a chance to deny it. You yep. roll seven. That's all good. Mm -hmm. It's only one point for me. Okie doke. Shooting. Yep. We're going to... Um, Do you want to shoot the Terminators anymore? <laughs> I mean, I don't see anything else. Uh, to these two guys will shoot the flamers, and those three guys. These guys have flamers. Oh, they, they might actually. Yeah, because you're all the way over there. Uh, you have a model right there. Yeah, sure. So we'll go ahead, the two side cannons. Mm -hmm. And the other guys are going to be. Stormbolt in this guy? No, it's not really worth it. Yeah. Although killing your sorcerer means you can't ever cast teleport. No, I had to get someone over to teleport them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do it. So storm bolters here. Yeah. They're minus one to hit. This is the oh, this over is here. Flamers. Okay. But uh, reroll mm -hmm. from Drago. And threes. Okay. No rerolls to wounds. Just three. Just three in bolts. Flamers don't care. Cool. One, two, three. Storm bolters. Mm -hmm. uh, reroll that and reroll that. One this. Fours. Fours. One, two, three, four. Just four. Four two ups. Four two ups. We'll kill the Libby and wound the next. Oh, you're a spine sorcerer. Sorcerer, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. We've got uh, Drago going that way. Two shots. Four shots. Yeah, four. Yeah. He's uh, he has like a relic storm bolter. One. One. It's two damage Good. if you fail it. All these guys, rapid fire. Yep. Mm -hmm. Eight, 12, 16, and 20. Mm hmm. One popped out. Yep, no problem. Yep. Uh, am I within? No. No, no it's, it's six. Okay. And forced wound. Forced wounds. Okay. And the paladin's got the chapter master. Yes. Threes on these flamers. We'll damage a flamer twice. And you're at a CP, correct? I have one. I haven't spent on your turn. No. No. Okay. I was thinking about it on three d six, but didn't have a good chance to. Uh, four of them? Or you took I, I took two, two wounds. Two, two, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, those storm bolters that way. Two guys can go. Yep. I think you're in long range. Maybe one's in rapid. No, long range. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two hits. Try to get that cheeky wound. Doesn't do it. Nope. Uh, do those two want to shoot anywhere? Yeah, they're going at the squad. Squad. Mm -hmm. I can't target There's only two, two guys. Yeah. Oh, it's eight shots, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Hey, you're right, right. I forgot Grey Knights just pump out firepower. Okay. Three saves. Yep. Uh, two's on the guy in the back. We'll kill, kill him. him. Okie doke. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the Libby. Storm Bolter. Yep. At the squad. I no, assume. at the dude, because I'm closer. Oh, dude, sure. Uh, he hits on threes, I believe. Mm -hmm. He's shooting. One. One. We'll kill him. Cool. That's okay. He wasn't going to last too much longer. All right. Just some charges. Some charges. Okie doke. Going uh, over here. Libby into the squad. Yep. Makes it. Eight's good. Knock a trunk. They'll go in as well. They're going to ignore your models. Yep. 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 Then there's a guy right here. Right? There's a guy right there. Yep. No problem. Okay. 
All right. Uh, over here. Yep. Drago first. Six makes it. Six will do. Yeah, he was a six, right? Yeah. Yes. He was less than seven. Yep. yep. Okay, and this is nine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. There's yeah. nothing else. Should be nine. Right there. Yeah, no, I'm not going to try there. Okay. Fails a nine. nine. Never do I see that every day. CP. Oh, does he spend the CP? I don't think you kill Drago. So I think I'll let it go. Okay. Okay. Um, do they want to charge? Yeah. I'm going to overwatch. Oh, you're touching. I'm touching. That's why you shot me. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Not John charging? No, I should just string back, but yeah, it's fine. Okay. What's the charge into them? Uh, 11. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going. Okay. Do it. You're going here? No, I'm going. Oh, you're going there. Overwatch. Flamer time. And this is the time Nick rolls below. Nope. 12, 18, 21, 36. Five, Just need ten, to make the objective. 15, 18. This twice, Mr. Siegs. Okay, threes. Threes. Oh, that's Ouch. good. 15, four ups. I have to make this charge, actually. Uh, that's not how you do it. Yes. Strikes go down. That's so bad. To flamer time. I needed to make that charge. To give me a not a 12? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that probably lost me the game. So it's really Drago. close though, because you're are, it's dead even. Your primary is about to skyrocket too. No, it's not. I mean, it might. Let's do your Drago. Drago minus one to hit. You don't care. And then twos. Okay. Four. AP. Four. Four. We'll put my two. Boom. five up. Five up. Boom. Kills two. two. Pop pop. Would you like to consolidate into me? Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> and then over there, you can do your Libby and your squad. Yep. Uh, we'll just do the Libby first, honestly. For now, I'm just doing the squad. Yeah. Libby no actually problem. might not kill you. <laughs> Libby. Three hits. Threes. One saves. mortal and two saves. Two saves. Uh, so one guy's gonna die, and then a mortal. Yep. Um, I'll pull this guy and the mortal to try to keep some models alive. Okay. So Libby can consolidate. He's gonna stay there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. He'll go there, he'll go there. You get two guys fighting? Three, Three guys. Okay. That's probably this guy will go right here. Sure. Okay. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Three guys, right? Three guys. No rerolls. No. Nope. Okay. One mortal and four involves. Four involves. Uh, Kills the squad. Kills the squad. Cool. Yep. So that's not a deal. The banner's coming down. Yep. Okay. Um, oh, that's right. You didn't raise a banner there. No. Okay. Three, six, nine, twelve. Terminator attacks back on a Drago. This is what we get on Tuesday. No sorcerer. The sorcerer is the worst one in combat, and he's got a crap gun. Is he? Yeah, he's got the staff. Threes to wound. All that AP three. Raven wounds. Fails two. Four damage. What's he got? Three. Three. We're getting there. It's enough to time up. All right, Siegs. So cool. that's it. You'll get your bonus point for two. They owe you a morale check. You killed five of them. No, they auto pass morale. It's Thousand Suns. You, you're all as dust. All as dust. I don't know what the rule is called, like automatons or something, but you auto pass. Appreciate it. I, it wasn't about morale. Right. No, no. Just, just trying to those promotions. So I'll gain a command point. You go up to two CP. Yep. Uh, I get one point for casting more blessings. Um, yes, because I failed gate. Yep. Yep. On to turn five. I'll get one banner. Um, one blessing for that thing. And a 12 on primary, like the 12. All right. Let's try to go for a free reroll. Got that for the psychic phase from my uh, sorcerer man, my infernal master. He's going to raise a banner here as well. I'm just screen the objective. Okay, you get uh, two banners, correct? I uh, just one, just one. Oh yeah, you didn't have the banner there because I had obsec on it. Yes. Yep. Um, let's. Mm, how am I gonna do this? Armand's gotta come forward to cast warp ritual. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight cabal points. So that is where all eight of them are going. And he can charge if he feels like it. Um, these guys could raise a banner here. Just tell me uh, if, oh no, you're, that's at end of 
Yep, you're good. To keep you from holding this objective, I need to put obsec on there. The only obsec I can get there are these guys. With a fairly hard charge. Or I just flame and kill you and you teleport elsewhere, which could work. In which case, they'll just move forward and raise a banner there. Um, these terminators pile consolidate. They're more useful. Yeah. I just wanted you to stay away from. Them. Yeah, they're they're not doing anything. I could attempt to teleport them out, but it's so not likely to work. I think we're just going to accept the terminators are out for this game. Try to kill Drago with them. Maybe it'll work. Um, Flamers can fo come forward and kill Drago. If I just fall back, he'd be taking three up saves. Yep, three up in ones. Flamers got this. Rubik's raised the banner here. Rubik's come up there. Mm -hmm. That could work. Um, or I double flame, potentially kill Libya's five ones. Yeah. Five ones on three. You have to roll far enough to get past this guy. Yeah. Or these guys just go do it. Yeah, that guy, that, those can do it. So these guys will advance in. Uh, okay. I think I kind of want to charge. Yeah, they'll just go for the charge. I think everyone can get closest to the back guy. Yeah, you're good. Yep. Do do do. So flamers, mm -hmm. flaming Libby should be pretty potent. Mm. Or he teleports. That's true. So you That's have to kill him in combat or in uh, in shooting. Yeah. I mean, uh, in uh, sorry, psychic. But I'm not. I'm gonna make it so we can't teleport onto a meaningful objective. Okay. Well, you're ready, done. Um, just make sure I can't go in your backfield. This guy's will raise a banner. Mm -hmm. Banner marker. Yep. These guys will... Uh, how many Cabal points now? You lost the Sorcerer and another Rubric Squad, and you lost the Terminator Sorcerer. You lost the Terminator Sorcerer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm at eight. I'm going to spend them all to just auto-pass Warp Ritual. They're undeniable. Okay. Not auto-pass, just make it undeniable. Rubrix, who's going to hold this thing? Nobody. Do I need to hold this thing? In theory. I guess that's your eight. So I have to be a little deliberate with arm on here. Just barely in I six. I don't think you can block the whole objective. Mm, he can't, but maybe with these guys I could. He's got a lot of it. They would not be able to. Not without um, advancing. So I think I leave Drago B. It's just not doing too much for you. How many attacks do you have? Six. Six. He could kill the squad. He could kill the squad. I'm just going to fall back with them. It's a lot of no prisoners points. Okay. Do, 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 do. Outside. Heroic. Yeah. You have move five. Yeah. Even in base contact, you can still get out. And these flamers will advance. Oh. Eighteen. So with eighteen, we can go over here, and that will block out that objective. Okay. Done. Yep. Yeah, eighteen should do it. And I'll just do the flaming of this unit, and that should suffice. And one is at one wound. One is at one. Just don't make it the close guy. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go to that good old-fashioned psychic phase. Mm -hmm. Armand's gonna warp ritual, spending all eight of my cabal points to make it undeniable. Goes we off. got it. Okay. Good job, Armand. Okay. These guys, I still need to do blessings and maledictions. I don't have much to do it with. I think I should just focus on. I don't think you're getting which fires, I guess. Uh, Doombolt and Seenshus Firestorm. I don't have that on this. I'll do the malediction. So, Kadafinic power, whatever it's called, goes off on a nine. Okay. May as well try. Yeah, I got plenty of denies. Doesn't deny. It's one malediction. Yep, I'll put the blue die up. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Oh, those Terminators never rolled damage when I uh, cast the perplex power at them to make them roll. Oh, uh, what do I have to roll? Nothing. It's way forgot about. Okay. Um, and then the other ones will cast. A uh, fairly meaningless Doom Bolt, which will fail. Okay. Okay, so there's the banner here. Yep. Shooting phase, we'll start off with. There is the banner. They can shoot. They will do the five flamers into this interceptor unit. Okay. 12 and 10, 22, 37. 
5, 10, 15. Here's 18. Then I will send it to the master. Yep. So I'll give them threes, threes. Okay. So just hand them to me. Yeah, here's 14. I don't know if we're getting cover. I will on the those guys, so Three I'll, I'll take yeah. the first. Or two of them. So yeah, the two. Yeah. Yep. yep, so those guys. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's four, four dice four. at a time. Yeah. Yeah. These are three ups. And then two ups. Wow. Okay. So maybe you don't do anything. No kills for one. one. And I have two more left, so I'll just take it both. We're good. Okay, and then we'll do it again the next half. Yep. All those dice. Threes. Do, 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 do. Okay, so all that. Three ups for the first guy, then four ups. Yep. Yeah, this one. He'd be here all week. There he is. Okay. Okay, and then a million four ups. Four ups. I failed two of them. This two. should kill the unit. Uh, it kills one model. You, oh. have, you have a guy left. I rolled a six on the other one. Yep, no problem. Okay, so. So there's a guy left. Irksum. Let's do. You have a whole nother flavor unit. This unit is going to shoot the guy. Um, so here's the Soul Reaper. Okay. Five hits. Two AP3s. You need some bolters. Two AP3s. Kills him. Yep. Then the Flamers will shoot your Libby. If you want to teleport. They're going to declare him? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see where I can teleport to. It's actually useful. So you're blocking this objective. Sound you block the block edge, that. but I can go back here. You can walk onto it pretty easy next yeah. time. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Annoying, but what are you going to do? Uh, if you could just pass me a tape measure real quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give me nine away from these guys. Do, do, do. No uh, problem. Making it so I can just walk out here and then yeah, also charge. Yeah. I believe that's it for me, Mr. C, because I don't have much to do this turn. Uh, can't really charge that librarian with anything meaningful. He's got a thunder hammer. No, he has. Uh, he doesn't have a thunder hammer. He has the the sword. Armon will attempt it. Nine. Uh, what does this do? This doesn't do anything. I'm farther than Armon. Okay, I'm so nine from that one. Yeah, model. it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's gonna be it. Uh, I'll score my bonus for two again, uh, and then I'll get the maximum warp ritual. Turn five, I go to one, two CP now. I've been spending last turn. Yep. You go up to two? Three. Three. Nice. I'm at two. Um, I get two more bonus. Uh, Warp Ritual's up to a 12. Yep. Uh, so I just need to cast Empiric Amplification, and you won't get any points on Wrath of Magnus. Uh, that's correct, because I cast a Malediction. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right next to you. Drago's just following. Yep. And just try and get no prisoner points yeah. there. Um, get himself all rerolls. Since no one else is in range. Okay. So second Libby has mm -hmm. the obstac aura, which I terribly mispositioned last time. So he needs to advance on that objective. If you could uh, tell me what that is, because mm -hmm. I might spend a reroll on this. Needs to roll a three. Three up. Yep. Okay. Um, because I need I don't need obstac on there. And then if you could tell me what I need after moving, so I'm gonna move five inches. To guess the objective or charge? Charge. Uh, you need to roll a five. Roll a five? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Because it's either I come here and I'm within range of these guys and they auto do that. Yep. But then I I would need to kill all those flamers. Whereas if I go here and then kill these flamers, I'll get the 12. Yeah. So I think that's safer. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and advance him. I will spend a reroll if it's not a three up. That's a six. So he's going 14 Ooh. or 11, but on the objective. Ooh. Won't take down the banner. Um, no, I'm gonna try and. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter where he is. He's close <laughs> enough. Okay, um, I might as well touch here just in case I want powers to go. Sure. And then those guys are gonna move all the way up just that way. Five this way. Yep. You got it. Definitely saving CP for that five-inch charge. Just put models in cover so I can. Yeah, even you, if I fail. The, you're gonna cover with three of them. I'll say that. Cool. Okay. All right, and then Libby's gonna poke out over there. Libby poking. Okay. It's going to be a nail biter, Siegs. Okay. Well, actually, I just can test this. Uh, so if they make the charge, I'll, I'll get it, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okie doke. <laughs> um, this guy doesn't need to do anything besides cast. Don't perils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll go ahead and cast. 
Where's the, they don't have a deny? No, but I think between Artem and this guy, you're sandwiched. Okay. If I am, I am. You're sandwiched. Seven. All right, we'll try with the uh, Infernal Master. Eleven. That's more. Okay. Uh, those guys will cast. Mm -hmm. Goes off on a nine. Uh, what are they doing? Same thing. Yeah. Trying to get the points. points. I'll try to block it. I'll use my 3d6 deny. I had two CP, so down to one. I uh, actually don't know if I can use my 2d6, my 3d6 deny. Uh, they day. can. They recycle. Okay. Stops on an 11. Okay. Heal cast. Uh, might as well try with the Rubric Marines. You got one. What's that? I assume that was Cleansing Flame. You don't tell me what you cast. Oh, sorry, sorry. No. Um, I'm going to Purifying Ritual. Purifying Ritual, the objective. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that goes off. And then I have Mr. Drago here who will do... Um, Did we miss a super chat? It looks like we missed a super chat. Oh. That's, I'm sorry, we're so enraptured in our game. Thank you so much. Shackleton Mangrum, of course, hero of the channel. Two questions. First, I keep hearing that um, I like Crusade. And second, if ignoring Lookout Sir meant you could snipe sergeants, what would you change? <laughs> uh, Siegs has volunteered to be our, gener our Crusade player from now Honestly, on. it was actually a ton of fun. Oh, I, what I don't insane. like about it is the mission is completely awful in Crusade. <laughs> Literally, you place two objectives and then it was you get points by killing your opponent's characters. And I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah. Why are they? I kept thinking there was another step, and my opponent was like, no, 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 just kill me. Uh, so that was wild, but it, it was actually a lot of fun, and it was super back and forth, and that's what I liked with 40K. Yeah. But uh, in terms of if, if Lookout Sir let you shoot it, if you ignored Lookout Sir let you shoot at Sergeants, just be another additional bonus. I don't think you'd go out of your way to get Ignore Lookout Sir, because there's not that many great units that do it, mm -hmm. but it would just be an additional cool thing. Yeah. Appreciate your super chat, Shackleton, Mr. Mangrum. Uh, so where are we at? Drago. So he needs to cast his one malediction spell, which goes off on an 11. Yeah. That'll deny you the points. Well, that'll do that. So I'll so, on the Wrath of Magnus. Cool. It's on them. <laughs> sure. It's the only thing in range. <laughs> oh, your paladins. They take uh, mortals when they walk. They take a mortal. Okay. Five up. I ignore it. Oh, okay. Um, and Drago's other power. I don't have to cast any other particular ones. Nope. So just smite, um, smite for one, doesn't matter. No, I was just trying to kill them all. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, and then that Libby will go ahead and spend my, two of my CP. 3d6. And yep, you already spent a good amount of denies. Mm -hmm. So Armand's got plenty still. Okay. Goes off on eight. Eight. Armand will not stop it. Okay, flat four. On to the flamers. Yeah. Kill two flamers. Okay. Okay. And then uh, 3d6. That's going to be an 11 on Vortex. Wish that was okay. worse. Try to 12. Nope. Okay. It's going to be three, four more mortals. Four more mortals. One, two, three. Okay. Cool. Um, charging. Smiting. I could smite if I wanted to. Uh, but I will save it for this. What is it? Six in charge? Six in charge. Yep. Save it for that. All right. Okay. Make it or break it. Six in charge? Yep. I actually need to make it. I, I do make it on a seven. Do my Overwatch. Yeah, fair enough. You never know. And then Drago's going to charge. He can't fail. Yep. Uh, Unless you want to go Overwatch there. No, I don't. 12. Uh, no, 9, 18, 20, 35. I technically hate to shoot. Sorry. Oh, okay. To get some more no prisoner points. But Go ahead and I think you don't want to. It'll make you charge. Not them, not them, but oh, sure. I'm going to shoot your other flamers. Okay. So here's 15 first. Um, two ups. 11 so far. I'll just take them all now. Sure. Oops. Could you give me one more? Thank mm -hmm. you. So three. Okay. Kill a guy. And then another batch. Um, I'll kill your sergeant, actually, because that was the only one. Yep, and the one carries over. And so please one more one. Yep. Okay. He was not the front model. No, I, sure I, that. I yeah. was doing that. <laughs> okay. So you so make it on a seven. So yep. just put them all the way up. Bonk. Probably gets my unit. Yep. But if it doesn't, I'll be very happy. Okay. Okay. I just need to kill them. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I just need to kill two models to control it, right? Yep. Two models, and I'll lose the guy. Yep. So swing over. Uh, do you mind if I just resolve just the shooting, yeah, shooting sure. down there? Uh -huh. Okay. The two side cannons. Okay. And I was not ranged for Chapter Master. So nope. just one hit. 
Nothing. And then it was three storm bolters, I believe. Yep. Uh, they don't all have sight because some of them were back in cover. Just oh, take, fair enough. Take, it was one then. One storm bolter, yeah. One storm bolter, and then I had the sergeant before. Okay. Because he was out in line of sight. Sure. Cool. No rerolls. Fours. Three. Three. Kills a flamer. Cool. We'll win on that. No prisoner's point. The Libby over there. One. That doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, maybe it won't matter in total, but you'll take one wound. Okay. Cool. Uh, Drago. Wounds don't count. You have to kill models. Uh, oh. Models good. Yeah, yeah. So. It's two up from Drago. One Terminator dead. Yep. Bottom the trunk. All right. No. Activate. And you're not super obsec or anything, right? Nope. Uh, okay. Do your Terminator problems there. You have yep. to attack me. Five, uh, four, is this four? Four guys. Mm -hmm. Four, eight, 12. Don't, don't malfunction on me now, Steve. We're almost done. I couldn't see it. It looked like oh, three, four. Twos. Twos, it's a lot of ones. There's one there. Mm -hmm. Threes. Threes. Six mortals. Saying there's a chance. Oh, there's a chance. I just have to kill two. Two mortals, six up invals. Cool. Kills a guy, kills <laughs> a guy, squad. kills another guy. Oh, uh, and then the two mortals. Kills three, so if I yeah. kills one, two, and then that plus the mortals kills the third guy. Yeah. Yep. So they'll punch back. Let me do Draco. Draco's gone. He killed the guy. What's that? No, he no. That was his shooting. That was a storm bolter. Oh, then no one died. No, it did. It was two damage. I passed you my a, save. You rolled a one. Rolled a two. You rolled a one. Okay. Hundred percent. Chat okay. confirm it. You definitely rolled okay. a one. Okay. This okay. is why you should declare the things you do instead uh, of just say names of your units. No, I, was, I said if you... Drago, Paladins, Rubrics, Armor. No, it was his Storm Bolt. That okay. was four I'm, shots. I'm giving you crap. Six. Twos and no sixes. Just that many invulns. Five. So that'll be my squad. Because I failed the one from before, allegedly. Um, uh, I'll tell you. It was flamers. One. Flamers. Yep, Flamers. Flamers. No. Oh, two armor saves. Cool. Cool. Uh, LU morale on the flamers. They are good. Okay, good game, Mr. Hey, Siegs. Good game. All right. Hey, I don't think you can fail because this isn't it. I don't think it matters. Yeah. It's not gonna awesome the sauce. Let's see what the score is. Um, All right. Why don't uh, you talk about Thousand Suns while I go grab this, or just make sure let's that just, we let's just get the score right. So you're gonna score primary now. You're gonna get. 12 more primary, plus 5 on the bonus, but make sure you don't cap it more than 45. So, uh, Yep, I'll just double check that. So 13, mm -hmm. 25, 25, plus 16, okay, 35, 41. 41, okay, and then I am going to score three more banners at the end of the game. Okay. Because um, we got no, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have three banners up. You could not knock them down at that point. Cool. Put you up. Um, and that, I believe, I need is my, a my score completed. I need your no pr the no prisoners from that. Yeah, we'll get you no prisoners. And you scored uh, one purifying ritual yep. that turn? I yep. do. So no prisoners. I, you've killed all the Terminators is 30. You've killed uh, five flamers, four flamers, and three flamers. So that is 12 flamers, 36, 66. And then three Rubik squads, 96, will get you to a 10. Okay. Mm hmm okay. I, that's, uh, I think that's everything, right? I think that's everything. Um, yep. Yeah. All right. Come on over, Mr. Siegs. Uh, um, yep, because you didn't get Wrath of Magnus points. I did not. Great game. Great game. Two points. I, there were a lot of turns I missed the bonus point where I was like, I should just leave someone here, and then I was afraid of your castle. Maybe I should have, in hindsight, maybe when I sacked the Shaman, I probably could have gotten it then. That's probably would have been two points. Really good game, though. Maybe sack the Shaman one extra turn earlier. Yeah. Because you, you still get the Psychic off. Well, the turn I sacked him, he just wasn't on the objective. He was just yeah, standing yeah. in front of the objective. Yeah, so it's a that, screen. That's two points, but, you know, it, it, that's 40k. You don't know it's going to come down to the smallest of details. It came down to a lot of different random denies. Like, I was able to have a really good turn of denies against you. Then Early you, turn denies. Then you had a super good turn of denies. In hindsight, no prisoners would have been better than Wrath of Magnus, but maybe you play differently with all that. So, who knows? I'd probably play a bit more defensive, but it uh, seems like these armies are pretty well matched, honestly. Well, you, we both don't really do damage to each other with shooting, so that's an <laughs> enormous problem for two shooting armies. Um, it's, it's a really strange match. We both teleport, we're both psychic, we're both durable. We're, we're, it's really a mirror match, just chaos versus space marines. It's pretty cool. 
Uh, what do you think of your granites? Pretty good. I've, I changed around a couple of the loadouts on my libbies for this matchup. Mm -hmm. So I switched the, um, what should I call it? What is the Warlord trait from the Sergeant? I have no um, idea. Uh, the OPSEC one, it's called. Und Undying Anvil, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Switched it over to the second Libby uh, because I felt like I would need him more late game and I would keep, keep one of the Libbies safe. And instead of the, having the Apothecary, who typically in games was just like holding my backfield objective, and usually I would send interceptors up and he would sit back here. Yeah. Obsec or in your home field is not helping. Right. So I thought I play more aggressively with the Libbies and I can gate them very easily because I want to. So better to get them into the position. That helped here. And then in terms of the, the sigil, I really like that upgrade. Even mm -hmm. though most Grand Eye players don't take it on the because they usually like putting on a Grandmaster to teleport because that's just value town. Yeah. On the Libby, it actually against armies that really, really rely on annoying. shooting. It's yeah. very, very annoying for them because you get you just get a full extra turn out of them. Well, like you saw, turn. he got you an four points on an objective right here, and exactly and a prisoner point. This little dude living was one was four points. I hate that guy. <laughs> actually, he was five. I think he cast a. Uh, he did. He cast me. Too. He got me to six what on that. Yeah, unfortunately, the psychic secondary on this mission is really bad. That's why I only got a six. I mean, we also played Abandoned Sanctuaries. This is a mission that you cannot just sit and chill, which both armies love doing. So it's a very abnormal experience yeah. for both of us. You were like, I'm going to go heavy here, and then I was like, I'll go heavy here. And then I ended up having just a bit better midfield control. Maybe it was turn two that you needed to get your Terminators over here. Oh, I failed the warp time. I mean, yeah, I yeah. failed, I got denied. It's, it's Grey Knight life. I tried to really push that through, and you yeah. just rolled like an 11 or something. Um, it's plans are really hard to pull off when we just they're it's like just basically something you rely everyone. on, then just deny, 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 deny. I mean that that went both ways for us, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, it's a really great game. Yeah, I was trying to keep, uh, I was trying to keep this this unit alive because I was going to spend the two CP to teleport to them. try and teleport them and then not roll a six to get the extra four mm -hmm. points on that. But then you had the the gate play over here to. Uh, I wasn't sure if that was the right move, but I think I liked it. In hindsight, the other move was just glom the middle. I think you actually glom the middle. Maybe that's the right move. Who knows? I think you need to deny the primary into the game. But I think I should score more primary in the beginning. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like. Leave us a, a comment. Member. Tony Brown, already becoming a member. Appreciate you, Tony. Uh, you know what? You guys can also become members of our wonderful community. Link below. Join our community. Is the promo code for 50% off. You can learn more about it in the art of war 40k.com slash learn more. Also linked below. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Leave the comment. Tell Seeks he's handsome. Like sure. the video. There's all sorts of amazing masterclass series being released right now. This week was Adeptus Sororitas. And um, in previous weeks, we've had Tau, we've had you doing Eldari, and I believe Chaos Demons are on the way. Jack's done Harlequins. Um, we're going to do every single faction, and it's a five series, super in depth one. But if you want to just check it out, what it would potentially be, or if you just happen to be a Tau fan, um, if you sign up for the $5 tier on our YouTube channel, you do get to see what it looks like. And so if you like that kind of breakdown, like masterful breakdown of a faction by a faction expert, check out, uh, check out our channel. Yep. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. You can check out all that in the link below, and we'll catch you later. Awesome games coming up tomorrow. Nick and I are playing Tau vs. Craft Worlds in the War Room. Ooh. So, super hype matchup. Nick is preparing for LVO. He's trying different factions. He tried a bunch of Chaos armies. Now he's trying a bunch of Eldari armies. So I'm going to help him practice. I'm bringing out a pretty strong Tau list that... Uh, can do a lot of damage. It sure but, can. Uh, yeah. Nick's bringing actually a really interesting twist on Aldari. Yeah, I'm bringing Wraith Guard and D Cannons. We got Wolfway Wolf coming out yeah. here. It's going to be so a different twist. It's very, Tau is very good into that. I'm um, just T3 and T4 bodies all over the place. Yeah. And Tau very efficiently can just kill that quickly. But now Nick has, uh, has some wrinkles in that plan. So Definitely. this might be able to help in the Tau matchup. You can catch that live or on rewatch along with all of our other content in the War Room. Again, once more, there's a link below. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll catch you later. See you next time.